Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Got my water bottle. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh, we out here, as they say. You want the music, Sean? You know the music. Oh, buddy. Hey, little bird. What are you doing with your crusty eye? Somebody. Oh, somebody has got puppy pink eye. Don't touch me with it. Somebody's got puppy pink eye. Don't touch me with it. <laughs> Don't touch me. He's looking at me with the crusty eye. Oh, you got that there. <laughs> Get out of there. His right eye has got pink eye, unfortunately. You won't be contagious in like a day, bub. Oh, he's okay. He's not, it doesn't even bother him, really. He doesn't really usually get eye gunk. So, last or yesterday morning, I woke up and I heard, I, I looked at his eye. I'm like, man, that's kind of weird. It's eye gunk. Well, let's rub that off. And yeah. it was pretty. Is he, no, he's not. A, what do you mean, furniture dog? Like, does he t tear apart furniture? He doesn't. He's got one spot on the couch and I'll, I allow him to go. It's got like a blanket and everything. Um, and I, I kind of wiped it away. I'm like, oh, okay. So we went to the park, did our thing. And that eye gunk was like, no, he's not allowed on my bed, period. What's up, Art? Um, it's a tactician. Freak me out. Or not spot on the couch. No, it's a bacterial infection, not viral. So, um, as soon as he's immune to it, it won't matter. And bacteria dies on services very quickly. But, um, like, <laughs> he's a. Uh, I was like, oh, that's weird. So I, I kind of like rubbed it off with some warm water. I mean, his his eye was red yesterday. It's all white now. So it's it's fast. 120 pound man. will get on the couch as soon as I leave. Little bastard. I want to thank you for the great community and streams this past year. You've inspired me to try Twitch streaming for the first time. And try to escape my 9 to 5 corporate drone mentality. Jay Frederick, that's the coolest fucking thing I've heard in a long time. I would... I, uh... Hatsumi Katsuki, did you make a comment about me making videos about such a thing? Because I I don't necessarily have item sets you would recommend for each class, maybe maybe specific items, but I really want you just to play the game. Um I I just because I don't want you to worry about perhaps missing an item like that, or I don't want you to play the game and go, oh fuck. I, I gotta make sure I do this very specific outcome for that item. What I've found the best, if this is your first time playing, the best way to do it is to play the game, get the items you get with the outcomes you want, and then maybe go through it with specific items in mind. But they get, I feel like you can get probably 90% of all the items in the game just by playing through it. Maybe for the exception of stuff like Blood of the Thunder, uh, the Dark Urge items, or uh, items from vendors that die as a result of being evil. Most everything. What? What are you looking at me with that little side eye, huh? With that little side eye. Uh, most everything is just pretty easily attained. Jay Frederick. I'm stoked for you leaving the wild world of corporate America. Um, are you married? Are you single? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you live alone? Do you live with friends? Do you live with your significant other? Do you have children? Do you have an animal? What is your situation? Because what I will tell you is find your monthly spending. Like like absolute compulsory monthly spending. Yeah, rent, this, that, this, this, this. And look at that number. 
This is exactly what I did. And I, but I, I eat like kind of like a peasant because I have I eat the same fucking things every day because I'm a little bit weightlifter. This fucking dumb decision. Engage, no kids, beautiful nine month bulldog pup. We want to move out west to get more land for cheap. Hmm. I don't many hear I don't hear many people say move out west for land for cheap, but welcome welcome to the West Coast. <laughs> Uh, yes, John Barry, we made a new honor mode playthrough. Okay, not cut. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Hatsumi, again, I just... Oh, Wyoming! Well, you're gonna strike it rich over there. Dale bread and potato, yeah. But yeah, cut Hatsumi, I just want you to play the game, and I, that's why I don't make v videos like that specifically, because I, I feel like it causes people to have kind of tunnel vision when playing. But... Uh, what I will say though, Jay Fred, is have a conversation with your with your soon to be spouse. See how much money you're comfortable together bringing in a month. And what I did was I, I was single. I have no I had no dog. I have no any. I I I'm, I have been liquid. Like I have had no debt in my life for the most part. There was a small stint for a year, which I had a little bit. Um, but. I took what I needed to spend in a month and I added $200 to it. And then as soon as I reached that number, I quit my job. If you can do that, do it. If you can't do that, don't do it. Oh, if you have a moon druid, then... Here, let me... Reddit, uh, moon druid items. This, this is actually something that I would do... A video on. Someone had a big, a big like list of gear that works for the Moon Druid. G3 Moon. Let me see. I'm looking for the... This guy had a really, really good item list. It was on Reddit, and I... Let me just type this in. Druid. Probably in November. The Ultimate Spore. No. Druid. Some gear from Moon Druid. This. That's a web PHP file. This. Nope. This. Nope. Diablo 4 now, 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 we're, now, we're, now we're in the Wild West. Even better with big wild shape upgrade. Uh, fuck my ass. That's a barrel druid from WoW. Yeah, I had a really good, it was a really good Reddit post. Gear from Windows that are virtually useless, or am I wrong? Spoiler. Or moon basking. Why is my scroll reel like like? Scroll reel is like a steadfast supporter. <sighs> there, there is a Reddit post. I just can't find it, unfortunately. Um, that had all this amazing, amazing information about gear from Moon Driver. No, no, not it. Wish I could find it, man. I'm sorry. Another loyal devotee. <sighs> yeah, sorry, man. I, I thought I could find it, the the old thing for it. Damn. Uh, thank you guys for following, coming on over, and a hydrate. Okay, I'll get a little hydrate going, and let me sneeze. <laughs> oh, great. I feel good. <laughs> oh, good. If you're playing Moon Druid, you don't have to worry about a fucking thing. You worry about, there's a Druid helmet that gives you another, another uh, oh my god. That was a hard sneeze, it, like, disoriented me. It gives you another shape-shifting charge 
There's a ring and there's the armor of moon basking. That's the only three items and they're all in act three. So don't worry about it. Have fun. Play the game. Hold on. Let me blow my nose here. Let me mute myself for this crap. Yeah, my first time playing Froy uh, Link, Frau Link, whatever, was I had a lot of uh, inventory issues. There we go. Jay Rago just posted it. I think, I think you just found it. Did you find it? Moon Druid items. Here we go. Oh, this isn't it. He had a, it. There's a much bigger list. There's a much bigger list. Here we go, though. Uh, Katsumi. Or Hatsumi. But it was awesome. Thanks, fans, for showing that builds. Cannot wait to see what else you got to show. Absolutely, Mr. Casual. Thanks for watching that, man. Watching it, man. Thoughts on a four moon druid honor mode team? Dunny Rex, that could be fucking crazy. There's a fellow that works during shape change. Well, now, as the patch five tavern brawler works during uh, uh, moon druid shaping. So let's do this. Uh, BG3 druid. Blood capture. So let's go to Circle of the Moon. Wild shape. It, it, this is a super important article, by the way. You should read this if you want to play this here. Uh, where's the copy link button? Playing Moon Druid, read that. This all this is for super pertinent. Like you retain your normal skill and saving throw proficiencies while wild shape, but the total bonuses for strength, dex, and constitution based rolls are influenced by your new animal form ability score. So you a, a, a shit ton J. It's basically it's not the items that benefit Moon Druid, it's the items that can be used while in Moon Druid form. So it gives you a sense for okay, you know, if you don't have those four items that you linked, Jay. It's all the items that work. And it might actually be linked in here. Let me see. Sometimes they put external links in here. Uh, oh, the Flinder Flail. Okay. That's that's huge to know, Art. That's really good to know. So uh, you choose right, Tavern Brawler, and Owl Bear has, for all intents and purposes, rather than having plus five from twenty, it has plus ten to its damage and all of its strength stuff. Bear uh, has plus four. Dilaphus of the Thorth has four. Um, Deep Roth would get the the three into now six. This would. Four to eight, by the way. So it's Tavern Brawler is super good because the uh, Sabretooth Tiger and Owlbear, I think, are the two kind of top picks for a lot of people. Um, Sabretooth Tiger here, there we go, has some really awesome abilities. Animalistic Vitality regain 2d8 hit points of health every round of combat. It's pretty damn good. Jump down, your strength affects how far you can jump. So if you have that tavern brawler, this is, this is a strength thing, so it goes up. Uh, shred armor, so you can um, reduce their armor class by one. Jugular strike to knock them prone. Bite is a piercing attack thing. And then if you can use that flail art, that's really good. That means that you're always receiving half damage from all that shit. Which so it applies odd, so it pushes odd numbered dex forms to even number the step. Oh, so Elrath, that's really cool. So, uh, what what I actually saw a really interesting uh, comment was someone said take Moon Druid to six and take a level of sorcerer for the proficiency in Constitution rolls, but I think I'd rather take a resilient feat and get that bonus. Because that's nice to know that. So if you take resilience, it pushes that number. So if you take 
Uh, let's see. So Sabretooth Tiger would go to 14 decks. Owlbear, if I took Constitution, Owlbear would go to 18 Constitution. So yeah, that's actually super huge, Elrath. Thank you. I'm... Put that in my notepad. Along with my Call of Duty Zombies notes. Uh... I'll work on that video tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, Shannon Remsen. That's a really good question. I've not... We can test it. I'd have to get to level 8 first. That's a really good question, though, Shannon. Okay. Let's play the game. What class are you doing your honor mode with? The ones for your bid? Yeah, all the ones for my bid, Manager Dealer. Never wanted the easy path. Yeah, proper vibe. I really wish I could give you... I, I want to kind of get the console version. I can write it off. Um, it might be worth it. I think, though, if I just plug in a controller, it should give me the console controls, correct? That might be the way to do it. Like, if I just did a video that was, like, console to P PC to console controls. And it's like, hey, here's how you navigate the UI using the console. You've probably seen a ton of videos. They're all PC related. Here's how you go. Were you down in your arm? I missed that last stream. Oh, no. No problem, Mr. Casual. But here we are. We have completely finished everything in Act 1 for the exception of Anti-Ethel. So, we're going to start the stream off by killing Anthony Ethel and then going into Act 2. Why don't I see the tea house? Oh, there it is. What? There can't currently what? I'm the five finger fucking me right now, bro. Leave camp. That was weird. We gotta dole out some heals. Absolutely, Daniel. Thanks for watching, man. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, please do make that switch to Twitch if you can. It does help me out quite a bit. Uh, oh, which reminds me. We have a new sub goal. There, this, manage goal, end goal, new goal, subs, new year, new goal. Let's just do like a goal 100. We just, we had such a huge month last Another year. Another loyal devotee. There we go. New sub goal is now up as well, guys. So, uh, bros, if you have a prime sub you've not yet used or anything like that, go ahead and, um, use it on me. I'd appreciate it. So if this helps out, if you guys are on PC, someone said this last one of the streams ago. Benadryl Dealer, thank you for subbing up with uh, Prime. Or no, just a normal sub. Thank you. Uh, if you click this and then right click, expands. it'll stop your movement. Praise so if you go, yourself. if you misclick and go, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, right click and you stop your movement. That's a huge one. I don't know how you do that though on a old console. You're the goat, Pretu. I said it like I was a threat. You're the fucking goat. Okay, uh, we did a long rest, so let's go ahead and Seems check like this stuff. I'm still waiting for someone with a spare eye. A new subscriber. Elrath, dude, thank you, man. Giving out five it community subs. And hey, by the way, Elrath, thank you very much yesterday for your uh, your hot takes on the... A new subscriber arrives. Um, it fills you with determination. On the tier list video. I, I learned the ways that I needed to. Uh, who new this subscriber shit? arrives. It fills you with determination. Oh man, thank you guys. 
Dosh your boy. <laughs> oh, <modest fellowship>. Just <laughs> subbed up with Prime as well. Thank you Praise so much. Dude, Ethel kind of a baddie. But yeah, Elrod, thank you very much for your help on the uh, uh, Prime sub. Or, uh, um, arrives. It the tier list video. I have, apparently, I found out that there is an error of my ways, and it needs to be that Eldritch Knight is S tier. But I don't think that's the way to go. I think it, I definitely think like A or B for sure. After kind of going through some stuff, um, I just don't agree that it that hey, Eldritch Knight as a thrower is good. I think a lot of people go, oh, it's really good, but they and I can cast bound weapon on anything and make it a good throwing weapon. It's not true. If I cast bound weapon on this great axe. The thing that the damage control is off of is that 6.3 kilos in the lower right corner. If I cast Bind Weapon on this dagger, it does more the damage than this throwing arrives. great axe. It feels so you need to use thrown weapons if you're throwing regardless because all the non-thrown weapons are still light in their weight. So it's not going to help you out with damage. I definitely think, you know, someone said it best and they were like, you use your spell slots on the character at, for shield. I'm like, dude, that's fucking cool. That's really cool. I never even thought to do it like that. Oh, Colorine, thank you very much. RQ Sands, bros. Thank you guys all for your subs. Bros, we just started the sub goal and you guys are popping off over here. Thank you so much. Ah, those goodies. Oh, we got lots of goods. Might as well just kind of take as much money from her as we can. Do you think would mesh well with War Domain Cleric? Benadryl Dealer, any other marshal. <laughs> uh, uh, paladin, fighter. But just, what do you want from the character? And I can give you a better one from there. Like it, uh, War Cleric is so fucking good. Sneaky Smurf subbing up with Prime 2. Thank you so much. Guys. Modest you bros are too kind. Expands. Praise the sub. Okay, so that's 683. Anything else we can buy from her? I mean, all of her goods are kind of janky. Just, just to buy it. Our modest fellowship Hype expands. train leech level three. With X Mephi re with Prime as well. Bros, thank you very, very much, guys. Thank you so, so much. You're making it rain here today on me. I'm feeling it's a hot nectar. What's wrong with you guys? Why would you say something like that? It's absurd. You guys are absurd. I read I shall. Hell yeah, Sneaky Smurf. Great to hear it, man. Alright, so how are we doing Good this job, fight? Any hot tips here from you guys and your experiences? Um, we're obviously going to pull in all of the red caps. I wish you could place traps in this game. I'd trap this fucking staircase like a motherfucker. I bet you I could alpha strike this situation... To trigger her to flot flee in the first round of combat. A steadfast supporter. This jewel with the not only does he have a great bit of information with just just get her uh, hit points to zero. He has Giorgio Sukalos, the best man of the History Channel, as his avatar. It's the ancient aliens guy, the. American Arkham. So I don't have any. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have. I don't have any kind of. Yeah, I don't have that spell. You can if you discovered the swamp. See, I didn't discover the swamp. And it, does one make the other aggressive? On all of your people? 
Dude. Oh, ooh, ooh. once per round, anti applicants legendary action is more loose. Duplicates and shuffle herself among them after a spell is cast. A higher level spell. Don't cast spells. That's what you guys were saying. Attack a sheep. Okay. Okay, let's go do that. Oh, you know what we gotta do first, though? Everybody gather around. Watch your back. You know what really pissed me off if I had fucked this up? Let's go ahead and do another... Should we use Cloud Giant Strength on her? You know what, we probably should. We don't want to mess around. I mean... This lasts until long rest. But... Do we think that that changes things if we go into Act 2? I'm doing your Radiant Monk build with the Drow. I want it to be ironic. Please keep up the awesome content. Thank you. So I will, man. Okay, so then we're going to only drink... Because we only have one of these, we're only going to drink it... Uh, the Giant... The Hill Giant Strength. It's We're definitely going to lose some damage here, but... I want to have that going into Act 2. It's just not... It's not worth the quote-unquote loss of it. Hope you bros agree. Uh, almost all of this can go to the fucking guiding light, country and spell. Number targeted to the three ten hit points. Not fall prone. Honestly, let's go bring and send to camp. Send to camp. And send a camp. Hype train is concluded, guys, at level 4. Thank you, bros, so much for 11 subs to the channel. My bros, my bros, my bros. Yeah, all this stuff's all in Act 1. What up, boom, man, 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 man. We're about to kind of start swapping off of uh, some stuff. I'm going to add that to the camp. Ooh. Hoo, 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 hoo. Add it to the camp, please. You know what I'm going to do? Sun uh, oof. We don't want to cast Sunbeam. You know, I'm going to put this back on. Because we've taken a long rest. And we don't need the light, necessarily. Jack, get wet! Thank you for subbing on my man. Arrives. Fiends and Undead sitting in the it light are blinded. Well, she's not a fiend, she's fey. Want to not think about Act 2. Important, Can't brother. Because I wanted to use the proper potion. Oh, don't be afraid of her. You know what, in fact, we're gonna do this really quick before we even touch this, before we get touched in the butt. Uh, go to Mike and Colony. We might be able to just make another potion. Is there anything in Act 1 you guys can think of before I conclude? We've gone through the crash. We've gone through everything. We just Welcome didn't kill those... Back. We didn't kill the undead in the mountain pass. Any reason to go do that? <clears throat> okay. We'll kill the undead if we're close to level three, uh, 7. I'm just making sure I don't forget anything good. Uh, I need to cast magic missile. I don't have anyone casting magic missile. <clears throat> the Elminster will happen regardless of however you take the entrance into Act Two. They'll be like, you know about Gale, right? Like what? <laughs> What's wrong with him? Another 
loyal devotee. Well, I don't want to use Kamehameha because it cancels a level 6 spell and she'll duplicate. Oh, you press M. It's over here on the right side. You click any one of these. I don't know how you do it on console. Uh, Darkness, you said that just plugging a controller and gives me my... Can I get the buff again from them, do you think? We'll be clearing out soon enough. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. Mm. That's fucking expensive. Oh, that's a hill giant. Is this worth... Uh, I don't think we have enough to even make that. Seeds are for superior. It's kind of tricky. <clears throat> Should I do that? Is it? I, I feel the reason I don't like doing that is I feel it's so gamey to do. I mean, this is this is honor mode, but. Devil yeah, I could I could level up another character and just check the stock a bunch of times for cloud or hill giant fingers. Should I do that? Like it's well be done. No reason to hold on to this. Give it. Give it. Honor mode is for gamers. <laughs> oh, sorry, lady. Okay, what we'll do is... I mean, I could technically just... Mm. Can't keep getting lost like that. All right, Ben and Joel, thanks for jumping in. And thank you very much for the sub as well. Well, Art, the problem with that is that she does, she does duplicate if I cast spells, remember? I do have a magic missile spell I can use. Does that not count on her thing? Oh my god, the House of Grief, it sounds so scary on honor mode, bro. It sounds so scary on honor mode. Honoring goes well, I fear. Why are you the crowd god, LJ uh, Thompson? <sighs> Ever chosen Halloween. This is why. You guys want to. Over on the desk with our commentator. Here you go. This is exactly why I'm the crap god. It's why everything in the lower right corner makes more sense now. Peter's Churin and Mr. Krabs. <laughs> 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 what? Oh! Hi, hey guys, so We're welcome back. back. Welcome back. We're at the uh, the second uh, <laughs> match of the Ever Chosen Halloween Invitational. You guys wanted to see Mr. Krab return at some point today as a surprise commentator. Yeah. And they got it. It was good. It's good. It looks it's great. Good. I feel like it was. There you go. That's why. That was the Ever Chosen Invitational, which Turin and I used to host at the behest of Creative Assembly quite a bit. We used to go out to England like every three, four months, man. When they had a normal death cycle. So I, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm killing the. The red caps first, right? Um, I don't miss England. Uh, I'll tell you that. I do miss... So, I've done a lot of, like, shows in my life. Like, theater and stuff like that. And I love the kind of really fun... Kind of trauma bonding you get. Of going through a hard, sucky situation like that. Um, 
sheep's voice warbles. No, there's no reason for me, Bal. I've already pushed away from that kind of content quite a bit. Hold on, let me do this. It's, I love that term too. It's such a funny one because it's like, because you think of all the people I've I've worked with in retail, and it's like, yeah, yeah, definitely. What's up, Colin? <laughs> it's gonna be Act 2, Braj. This is the end, Breton. Do I just, what, do I just fucking attack this guy? What, is... He's sheep or wild. Does that trigger anti ethel if I attack these re these sheep? Eager for battle. No, but you. Mm, what? Into the shadows. Uh, yeah, Elrath. Shiloh sheep. I'm waiting for them to come out. I don't want to go in that fucking trapsville over there, dude. Trap house over there. And once I defeat Ethel, I should go talk to the frog, right? Caps in your insurance. There's no caps in my fucking insurance, bro. I guarantee you. Get that, you little shit. You blink. Oh, it does surprise me. I see. Forgot to use Potion of Vigilance on Karlak. Well, it's a good thing that I did this now. Because dealing with that with her would have been could have been really bad. Yeah, that frog over there now will fuck you up, dude. Is we're getting through doing attack three times remains. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Is it? Oh god. Hungry for the slaughter. Oh, we got surprised so we didn't get our special action. Come on, can't stay idle. Who's concentrating? Little shit. Okay. Sometimes the only way out is through. Greetings, programs. God, I fucking love that movie. It makes me upset that we didn't get another one. Oh, you saved it twice, you little shit. Time to strike. Get judo chopped. Da -da 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 -da. Love it. It's the blessing staff that'll give me good blessings when I bless. Um. We got seven. I want to just clear out that blood bus. I can't unfortunately help her. Miss this. How dare you, dude? Oh. Bum, bum, bum. Tron. Flynn! Are we still to create the perfect world? Yeah. Well, 
That'll do, pig. Still breathing, despite everything. Monk is. I, something good here. I have a hard time not playing as a monk anymore. I really like having monk. Another step forward. And I already want to start my next playthrough of a of a either a gith paladin or a, um, a tiefling paladin. So another reason why this looks super OP too is this helmet. When you inflict a condition, gain arcane synergy. When weapon at weapon attacks, which counts as your unarmed attacks, deal a damage equal, deal additional damage equal to affected entities spell casting. I do wisdom. I do more wisdom damage, and with this, aha. Gloves of belligerent skies. When the wearer deals thunder, lightning, or radiant damage, inflict two turns of reverberation. Because we are a monk, we do always do radiant damage now. Is it? Let me know if it, if it is, bros. Uh, reset the stream real quick. Jiggle, jiggle, and jiggle, and Jesus. Let's move. It, here, this this sometimes causes it. Let me know if it's still like that. I, I'm running a preview of it on my other screen. That kind of sometimes a steadfast fast out. supporter. Yeah, camera's good now, though. Okay, great. A gift cleric of Lockith, so I can take Shadowheart everywhere. <laughs> okay. So how do we do this initial fight? I think we just kind of position around, right? Why does Asterion... Oh, I know why Asterion... <laughs> so we take Asterion, and we go up to one of our little camp followers, which are over here. When can you get lock picks things, huh? And we draw blood. And now he has bloodless. So, plus one to all attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. And that's just char that characters in camp. They're never going to leave camp, so it's no big deal. No one back home will okay, so let's kind of divvy this up. Uh, yeah, man. And we, we haven't even taken all of the experience routes that you can take to get experience in this act. Yeah, she's going to run away at first. That's why I want to try to mitigate as much as we can. Nothing. An efficient path. But we'll just kind of do this. Time for a soft touch. At least things have stayed interesting. Hey, good looking. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Block stairway cheese? Well, I don't need to. So I can just, I mean, there's no reason to start the conversation to this. I can just punch her in the neck right now, right? <clears throat> yeah, we're going to try for Ethel's hair. Hopefully we get it. Right? I, I, no reason to, to do anything. Just, yeah, okay. Punch the shit out of this bitch. I do have Volo's eye. Well, it won't kill her. 30 to 46 damage is not going to kill her. Is there no reason to have Astral Wisdom up? I usually do have Astral Wisdom up. Wisdom up. Um, I just don't have it right now. Hamster. Ham water. Ham water. Is rum ham. Is 210. Is it because it's half of 420? Activision. vision. I don't know. Will this kill her? Pre-transform? I don't think it will. Yeah, she only gives the hair if she runs away. Correct. The voices are from here. There. Th that would that would seem that would seem that seems stupid. If I could kill her now, no wig. I do want the hair, but I don't think hitting her now is going to stop me from getting the hair. I think she'll transform. I don't think you can kill her at, in pre-transformed state. Uh, Alice the Neko to make it so that I don't deal with any much with a lot of damage here. 
He can't. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I know she can die here in this room. Can she die here in her pre transformed state? And if I could do one key point to circumvent any fighting up here, that's that's ideal. I don't know if that works though. Now you guys may be paranoid. I'll just do, I'll just do a normal punch. Takes a fight. The concert. She still had a. She still had a nine. Yell up there. I'm ready. You should be able to trigger it right here in this first round of combat. Oh, critical fuck you. Really? I will ascend. Oh, she doesn't get her extra attack there, huh? Hell yeah, easy the goon. Really? Let's cook with fire, baby. I don't want to kill her. Time to strike. This is gonna feel good. I I can't I can't judo chop. Riggedy, I don't want to kill her, dude. Yeah, she'll teleport away eventually, but she's at 55 fucking health. If both all my characters go, she's dead. No, don't. There's no do it, dudes. Stop your madness, bros. Non-lethal does not work with throwing weapons, bud. Got it. That. Okay, we're we're that, we're done. For sure, she's going to teleport. At 33 health, I've never gotten her this low and had her not teleport. A crit, a crit strike kills her. There we go. I was like, dude, I'm going to fucking one-shot her right here. It won't matter. She just goes back to full health, Jay. Uh, I don't know if she teleports after one round or not, but I know she does. She'll do it after um, a certain amount of hit points. <clears throat> Time to loot and plunder and plunder and loot. <clears throat> What is this? A toad teapot? Karlak is a thrower. He's a, barbar a berserker barbarian with, um, she will eventually have thief. All the characters' comps are in the description if you're watching on YouTube. <clears throat> are these all? This seems sus. Butter buns. This is gluten free. Yeah, does the coin last for long rest? I can't remember. Yeah, the, the monk is going to jump into thief at level nine. You guys want a bedtime story? Here you go. Of all the demon lords, few have made their mark on the world as firmly as Yinoch. <clears throat> you know who? Whatever. Though his ravenous hunger is claimed to be a mindless compulsion, there is nothing mindless about the thorough insati 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 insinuation of his presence in the world via his chosen, Knolls. <clears throat> but how are Knolls created? First, a chosen of Yinohu, you know who, you know who, must do as their master wills. Kill. 
a hyena, a, hy a hyena that then feasts on the corpse of the chosen's victim, and a knoll is born of the glutted belly of the hyena. Knolls thus born are hunger manifest. They ravage any living being, tearing body and bone asunder, leaving behind only bones. They care not for wealth or material gain, only to satiate their hunger. That satiation is, itse is itself an offering to you-know-who, funneled directly to him. Some might envy the gnolls for such a tangible connection to their creator god, but that envy would melt to utter terror as soon as the beast's rotting breath and wicked cackles make their way through the dark of night. If you should find yourself the object of gnollish pursuit, burn your corpses, cover your scent, and pray to whoever might aid you, for there is no bribing, begging, or reasoning with hunger incarnate. <clears throat> Jesus, man, sorry. <clears throat> A potion of animal beginning to be what it, what it looks like. Tea house key. That's gonna help. Hey, Danny Myrer. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. What's, what's potatoes, precious? What, what's potatoes? They say his name, Voldemort, Dumbledore, do. Trying to get healing. Fuck all this fuck up. Ooh, okay. incense. Oh, if you don't know it, incense is like a free 30 gold. Your monk ability set up. Why? I can't. I can't customize that. I can press custom. But that's just the way the game does it, baby. Oh, I can. On the streamer's example, and he's exercising on my bike. Fuck yeah, you are. Of course, Jiggle. Got you, dude. I didn't like it either. I was like, kind of annoying me. Mm. Let me just make sure we have a water canister. Could we do? We'll probably get level 7 by the end of this. Um, if there's any recommendations for things here... Let me know. I've, I've always just kind of like... Kind of got... This is pretty straightforward. Uh, if there's any like cool little things I missed... You are as thick as they come. This is my personal playhouse. And you don't... Has that spell gone up? Fighting her in Act 3 is fun too. Oh yeah, guys. By the way, Happy New Year to everyone. Like, I, I'm not going to bother with any of this. Unless you guys say that there's a reason to. I was told years old. I was today years old when I learned. Yeah, you also get suffer something else though. Like all this stuff is just useless. It's just kind of cool. I've heard that it doesn't actually. You feel crushing waves of fear. Images cry. She kept becoming fully. You feel it cry. Frustrated. You lay bleeding as she leaves her teeth. A row of deadly needles shine as they dive into your throat. Blood. The door twitches, but stays firm. Thirteen plus. Oh, uh, yeah.
Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night, all right? See you later, bros. I'm not going to I'm not going to roll again. I need the inspiration for the hair. What it remains for Don't feel the barest hint of life from within the door. I know it doesn't matter. You can just walk right through it. The door shudders. No. No, Boone. Crack you see the hack. She walks through with a jerk. You're pulled from So it doesn't you just do this. And it will go it'll open no matter what. Okay, so this is <laughs> Yeah, you just do that. That's what it's saying. It's like she just walked right through it. No, it's not a bug. Wait, away. If you put the masks on, you die, by the way. So don't put the masks on. So how do we be clever about this? Um you can save these guys if you knock them unconscious. What's the cool trick, Riggity 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 Rickster? You have to put all the masks on, yes. Oh, that's cool. Use protection from good evil to. You know what? Uh, protection from good evil in general will be really cool here. I'm not sure how it works with a scroll. How do we do this? I'm trying to navigate this shit without dealing with it. Um, so whoever uses the scroll co is is considered concentrated, like a fruit juice. Or something there. Okay, I don't really care about keeping these guys alive. There's no, there's no like benefit, you know. I've got this. This will help. as much but just you know always generally curious oh. hmm. the cantrip. I should just hold on to these wait 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 what what Are you, I'm talking, you, you keep them alive and it prevents her from doing her thingy? That seems not right. Uh, sneaky smurf, I would do one level into wizard. Yes. Correct. Because then you can learn as many spells as you want. Really? You can do that. Uh, no. So those spells will be cast under Int only if you cannot cast them as a sorcerer. 
So the way that that works is it will always choose the highest spell casting modifier for the spell that could be cast by the character. Meaning, if I want to cast, let's just use Bless, for example. Bless on a Druid and Bless on a, well, I'm just going to, I know Bless is not available on the non-divine casters. So if I want to cast Bless on a, on a Cleric and Bless on a Warlock and they both can cast Bless, whichever one has the higher casting ability will cast it with that ability. So if I have 18 Charisma and 16 Wisdom, regardless of what my last level spent was, it will cast with Charisma. Maybe a better example would be Tasha's Hideous Laughter. If, so right now, this will cast with Charisma. Maybe it's not a good example. <laughs> um, fireball. Fireball on a, on a cleric versus fireball on a wizard. Whoever has the higher spell casting modifier, either if it's intelligence or if it's wisdom, it'll choose that automatically. Regardless if you have one level in the wizard or 12 level, or level levels in the wizard. It'll always choose whichever has the higher spell casting modifier if it's available on both characters. So, Sandra Bullock with the name change. Look at that. Rachel, people are going to think you're the real Sandra Bullock. Let's jump over here. Yeah, ignore the the visual. What? Oh, that's right. Because of stupid movement speed. I, I change. I. So in my video, I tested it uh, in front of everyone too, Bernard. So uh, let me finish this fight and I'll show you. I don't know about that, the stopple. But basically, anytime you look at despite everything, so these are all assumed to be being cast with what they're natively a part of, which is charisma. It'll say in the lower right corner, there'll be a little spell book with a flame, and it'll say whiz or int or whatever. Here, 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 it should be on him. Yeah, see, this is being cast with intelligence. So it'll tell you, it'll tell you if it's being used with something other than your primary spell casting ability. Ignore this just ignore it it's almost always wrong um if you have multiple spells is my point you have multiple spells from multiple different locations like this is both charisma right so it's different but if you choose wizard and sorcerer or wizard and warlock or wizard and fucking whatever just look hover over it and if it says intelligence in the corner that's what it's being cast as You fuck me. You son of a bitch. Oh. Okay, I didn't know if that would actually knock her out, to be honest. Watch this. And we don't want to save anyone else, so fuck off. Dude, she's got terrible choices. Terrible choices, honestly. Victory awaits. I'm just defending the grove at level four on mode. No, I'm sweaty and shaking. Go down into uh 
a bitch. Go down into uh, the the underdark. You'll be fine. Bye forever, pal. Just do the watcher last, if you know what that is, at least. I assume it's not your first guardian. Maybe not the right character to leave alive, but still. The spells I get a wizard will be cast using charisma if both classes have them, regardless of order I get the day. So let me show you, Bernard. BG3 wizard. BG3 sorcerer. So if I want to cast... So, here are the spells for wizard. Let's look at the spells now for Sorcerer. Mage Armor. Let's look at that as an example. Oh, let's look at Witch Bolt because it will actually use the spellcasting ability. If I have Witch Bolt on my Sorcerer, or I can get it on my Sorcerer, one or the other, and I choose to use the scroll, it should use Charisma as the spellcasting modifier. And you'll know what it uses by looking in the lower right-hand corner of the tooltip and it will say, it'll have that little flamey spell book. It'll say either int. And if it doesn't say int, it'll use charisma. Assuming that is your primary spell casting ability, right? So if you have 18 intelligence and 16 charisma, it will show, it won't show int because that's your primary spell casting capability. You just got to make sure you have, so you're going to be a, a charisma casting uh, a sorcerer so. Magic Missile, uh, Witch Bolt, those are two really great spells, right? Powder Cave's not dangerous. We blew through that bitch. It's super, it's super frustrating, but just basically cast all the spells you want. If, if, you're, if you're just doing Sorcerer and um, what the fuck's it called? Wizard? Just put 16 into both of those and 14 into uh, Constitution and 12 into Dex and you're fine. It doesn't matter about your wisdom, your strength, you know? It's a super confusing portion of the game. I wish it was made easier. But it is not. Like, health potion, hot frog, bitch. That's progress. Um, you know what? I checked that, the stuffle, in the video, I checked it. Like, we did it, like, live in the video, and it, it did not work like that. Because that's what I thought it was going to be like, too. And it didn't quite work like that. So... I'm, I'm very confused. There seems to be a ton of conflicting evidence one way or the other. It's why I kind of tested it live and I did some testing before doing that video to see if it would actually work the way we all kind of thought it would be or whatnot. Not wear the mask, but you wore the mask. Sandra Bullock gave out one community sub. Thank you, Rachel, for your... You defended the Grove Hall? What, what do you mean? You just defended it. For oh, your community said. Guys, say hi to Rachel. Everybody in chat say hi to Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock and I have known each other for... Um, dude, I think we've known each other for like 11 years. I think we met in 2011. 2012. Let's have a look. She, uh, was, she, she was dressed up like Catwoman for Halloween and she incessantly hit on me. Incessantly. Like... The whole time, she was like, so, what's your costume? Like, it's a cowboy. She's like, so, what's your costume, though? I'm like, it's a cowboy. She's like, but what's your costume? Like, it's a fucking cowboy.
No, this is not my first playthrough. Oh, fuck. I hate this place. Ugh. Is there a cool way to deal with these flings, aside from just jumping over them with fucking Potion of Vaulting? Dare you. No, you were Black Widow, sure. I was the cowboy. Dancing lights? I am my own assistant. Yeah, I could do Feather Fall and just kind of make this leap, but... Oh, you can? That's kind of cool. Let's see. Can we even make... What kind of jump can we make here? I don't even think I have dancing. I have dancing light. Ooh. Careful. Darian. Traps. With the back pressure. Consider it. Traps. How consider it. If anyone's former or active military, Rachel will date you. That's pretty much all we need to do is bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we'll kind of stack up right there, and we'll do a turn. Someone doesn't like visitors. Oh, I could go for a good meal. That just means you're not a marine, Rickety. I'm willing to get hurt again. What a fuck pig thou can. That's, now that's, that's uncalled for. My brother is military. Thank you very fucking much. Damn, it's good to be alive. Who has my feather fall slippers? Generous bestowal. Say, Sparky, thank you for cheering 100 bits, my dude. Very kind of you. Generous bestow. He was, you know what? I'll take that. He was, uh, Navy. Leap! Action, not reaction. Always, bro. I love to, thanks. I'm liking this game too much. As far as stuff we will be getting into, we'll be doing Homeworld 3. We'll be doing. Something's coming out in February that's a big game. Uh, what's coming out in February? I just saw an article on it. Um, we'll do Manor Lord when that comes out. Four more <laughs> Rachel! Uh, DC game? No, I think it's a strategy game. Oh, no, it's, um, it's, 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 it's Last Epoch. Last Epoch's coming in February. The full release of Last Epoch, which I've played before plenty of times. Generous bestowal. Elrath, thank you for uh, and say Sparky again for even more bits. Thank you both, bros. Uh, yeah, he's a bard. So we took the two levels into Warlock first to just get it done with Keji, but that then enables us just to have a really dependable cantrip that we can use the entirety of the game with Eldritch Blast. We get access to stuff like Armor of Agathis. Um, just plenty of really good spells that we can use. And we're also the great old one 
which will give us access to this little bad boy. Um, and we also have Devil's Sight, which is great. Uh, where is it? Moral Reminder. So when you land a crit hit, you can frighten things. So it basically allows me to range project Another frighten, if you think of it that way. Screw Dizzle, thank you for following. Guys, make sure you f make sure you make the switch to Twitch if you're watching over here on YouTube. It does help me out quite a bit. No, oh, I really. Oh, okay. Why, Spartan Dante? Fucking love that. It. I think the very first game I got for my PS2 was Devil May Cry, and I remember getting it for my birthday, playing it, and then realizing I needed a. A memory stick so my mom drove me out to Best Buy which was just up the street admittedly 15 minutes before it closed to get that fucking memory card so I could save what I was doing oh that was such a good game UK plus crossbow better than club of I don't even know what all that is screw diesel sorry brother ancient abode should I isn't there another trap around here So how do I set this up? Rachel has got a, a hideous soul. One of the worst personalities I've ever seen. Hmm. I don't need any attention right now. Attention! Like a vandal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even think about. It. I kind of just don't. I don't get lost in that level of gaminess in the game. The game is better spent thinking about fun things you want to do versus fun things that are just min maxi. Okay, so is this the route I'm taking? Yeah, man, I mean, the, sure, too many acronyms, but I don't know what UK crossbow better than club. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Trap. There's that other trap. Okay, so we have a good Just idea wait. of what we're doing here. We could probably get a little closer over here. You're making me sweat. The king dagger? Dagger, the, yeah, the one that I've got. Uh, what's, what's your goal, brother? What's your thoughts on paladin monk? Thick. <laughs> I mean, depends on what you want the Paladin for and how many levels you want into Paladin. You don't need the Charisma modifier if you're only using it for smites. <clears throat> what was that, Goose? What was that, Goose? What? <laughs> he, he was asleep upside down and something happened. He was like, oh, fuck. That's okay. Come here. Rachel, Roman has pink eye. <laughs> Bub. Little sweet boy. Come on. Come. It's okay, sleepy. Go back to bed. Uh probably from rolling around in all the reclaimed water in the in the grass of the park. Cause he goes to catch things, he's got such fucking he goes so fast, he just tumbles and rolls, so. We gotta, we gotta speed this shit up. It's an hour and a half. We haven't killed that Ethel. Sorry, bros. Alright. Nice and quiet now. Anything you guys want to say before I start this? Out of sight. Out of mind. So here's what I'm thinking. We're, we're in a pretty good position here. We can move forward to attack and do whatever we needed to do. Um, we're gonna throw a water thing onto this cage so that it, we can take the fight as slow as we want. Um... <clears throat> Any other things that you guys want to bring up here? We will use this scroll of Another magic loyal, missile. I don't know how that works with her legendary action, though. So keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully we can just punch the shit out of her with Lady Lazelle. Maybe I can get kind of gamey here, too, with this. Mm. I don't know about it, Boone. 
You can hit the button first. What button? There's a there's button? What, there's a button. Which button? That button? What's up, mermaid? Enough. Yeah, it's I'm really not. This does not really need much of a conversation, but I don't know if there's any kind of cool tricks. Sure, but again, too, screw it. I don't know all those acronyms. There's no... It's not World of Warcraft, so there's no, like, best in slot type thing when I think of this game. There is for certain builds that certain that need certain things, but... These boots have seen everything. Oh, yeah, I got the hiding successful. Hey, look at us sneaking right up there. Oh, son of a bitch. You want the game so bad. That's a really good point. Whoever is closest to her will have the combo for the checks to get the hair. Dude, oh god, yeah, that's right. So we gotta not have Lazelle next to her when we go for the kill. We're gonna do... Victory awaits. We'll throw with uh, Karlak. So, in this moment... Do I use Scroll of Magic Missile? <clears throat> Will that trigger her legendary action? Is I guess the bigger question. It does. So we don't want to do that then. It's a different spell first. Right, well, let's do this. This is a cantrip. It's a level zero spell. Okay, so that wasn't fun, and I don't want to do that ever again. Should have done that with him, but it's neither here nor there. Fury. I am death. Aye, aye. <clears throat> so, do we try doing this? I don't think it'll work. Ooh, 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 art. No silencing her then. No silencing her at all. <laughs> I hate this kind of shit. You know what I'm gonna do? Nothing will stand in my way. Missy step scroll. Okay, okay, okay. So he's super close now. Barker, what's up, brother? That's fine. He's got plenty of movement. Hank the Tank, thanks for watching, my man. That's going on right now. It's popping. It's popping off in Act 3. It's pretty nice. Goddamn right it is, brother. Nintendo, what's up, man? Another loyal team. Hmm? Hey, stunning is good. I'll take it. I'm gonna pull her back so that there's no conversation there. Let's go. Oh, 
Throw first a carafe of water. Yeah, I know that just minimized the amount of damage we're doing, but the point here is just to do damage. Or just to... Why'd they do damage to her? Okay, so we should be able to next turn fuck her up. But we could use a tune. We don't want to silence because we don't want to stop the conversation. We still have two clones that are going to do their things, unfortunately. Oof. You know what I'm actually going to do? Uh, because this imposes a disadvantage on ability checks, which is the role we're about to do. Antidote. It's only a bonus action, so we'll do that. I can't, I can't afford to do anything right now. I'm just going to try to kill. Because she's just about dead. First time I fucking use antidotes in this game. Well, 65 damage, we can definitely do that right here. Oh, 100%. Watch this. Hey, that maybe didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I don't want to kill her, so I have to think of how this happens. Dude, this sucks. I kind of don't like this. Hmm. That'll cause her to duplicate. I'm afraid this kills her. He sure did. She'll do it like five health. Oh god, man. This is gonna fuck her up, I think. Is this gonna cost an action to, to take this off? Don't do this. On her turn. This is on remote, Proteus. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anti-Ethel. Act one. Okay. If your party takes over offer. Okay. When the party arrives at this location, it will be found before you eat it. Or it takes An earnest disciple. Do we know what when she triggers this fucking conversation? To below 20% of her life and has a turn to act, she offers the player a chance. So, below 20%, calc, 145 times 0.2 is 29 health. We need to, she needs to lose two fucking health. She's two health. Gone. I'm just afraid that this, this fucking does it. This kills her.
That's all it took. That's all, baby. Woo! There it is. Yeah, you guys remember the bridge, right? I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> I might as well get rid of her other cloney clones. Handy. <laughs> this just makes it so that she acts next. Yeah, this is this is the best character to do this with. I don't think there's any things we can cast on him that'll help in this conversation. We'll be able to cast Guidance in the heat of the moment. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it's either this or Guidance. Voice of the Circle. Persuasion checks. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Bros, we'll be fine, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to pull her back just in case. Wait! Ah! Oh, wait just a tick! Killing me, but it's not pleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. No, they're all assumed in the conversation. Why is it one? Uh, I think I'd do the spider boss around that. Uh, I'm not sure to deal with no funny business. This is a fine thing to say. I think it all goes to the same thing. You wound me, sweetie. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger? I'm freaking out. Tougher, I'm freaking out. Smarter. Done. Just let me. Trading some wealth we just met. For impossible. It's your choice, sweetness. I'll just say like, keep the girl, I'll take the power. Oh, I can go the deception route. Let me see what the let me see what the uh, thing is. Uh oh, it doesn't tell me what the fucking DC is. What the shit, bro? You don't need to rub it. It's fine. You got like one more dose of that medicine and you're going to be A-OK, -okay, bud. Don't be rubbing that eye. Please spread that shit, dude. If you choose two, no dialogue DC. With her back three, just let her keep the Mariana and take the power. Uh, yeah, the, I can't remember what we get from her in Act 3 art. Because we do fight our Act 3, and I don't remember what it was. Let me see what it is before we even do it. Because, yeah, we want we want that hair, obviously. Avenge the Hag Survivor. Save Vonra, is that it? Amulet of the Windrider. Uh, do I need either of these items? Duelist Prerogative is a cool rapier. Yeah, I don't think I really need her in Act 3. Deception is DC 20. Yeah, I, I think we just say keep the girl, take the power, right? Well, if we fail at beef, 
then we fight. And I, it's worth it just to get the... I think it's just keep the girl, I'll take the power. Because the stuff that we get at... Get out of there with that. The stuff we get in Act 3 is not worth it. Uh, let me see. Does it does it increase Duel's prerogative? While offhand, while your offhand is empty, which will not be the case, your crit score is reduced by 19. Moreover, you gain an additional reaction per turn. On a hit with a melee weapon, use reaction to deal additional necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. He's not using any of those abilities. Um, I mean, it's cool, but he's a dual wielding range character. Well, the problem is, if I fail the deception check outright, we fight, Riggity. <laughs> Johnny, if you got a problem, fucking leave, bro. I take my streams however the fuck I want, dude. <laughs> we have an insp we have one inspiration. So what do you bros want? You want me to do two or five? I mean, I'm, I think two is the way to go. But as always, I want you guys to feel like you have a stake in the campaign. It's not just me playing, you watching. A lot of twos, a lot of fives. When you feel intimidation, but not deception. I, my deception roll is a plus seven. My intimidation roll is a plus five. If you fail the checking to, oh. Yeah, see Mike, you failed intimidation, right? But not deception. Well, I, I fucking took off the guidance to put on the voice of the circle, which is persuasion, like I'm dumb. Uh... Well, if, if Intimidation lets me come back, let's try it. Can't. So, if this fucks up, I just simply control out delete, close the game, right? <laughs> oh! I chose the weakest of the routes. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have. Dude, what do you mean easy? I was fucking Deals terrifying. You dumb cow. Not that it matters. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. What goof? Bollocks to luck. It's only bye bye, Eckle. Timber privilege 100%. You busted. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Could you shut up? You want f Ethel was going to bring my husband back, lore. back from the dead, and now I'll. No, I'm not! Why ruin my deal when I was so. just a bit longer and my child would have been born? And all this. All this. I do. And yet, more than I could have done. Well, I didn't bloody up. Now I have to. Charisma. Let me make sure. Yeah. Ooh. Now we got that. Ah. Consume it. 
I was like, the fuck happened? Well, she don't get to loot her, but she doesn't really have anything to loot that's worthwhile. Even her next room has got shit in it. I'll give it a shot. I'll take that. A bit of divorce. Take this and take this. Whiny bitch, dude. <laughs> The one's worth it for anything. Uh, we're good here, so. On to Act 2. So I'm going to enter Act 2 from the Underdark. Is there any reason to enter it from anywhere else? Quest, appreciate that, my man. We've done everything. Gods, the thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the jet. What? You feel us. Bring him back. Bring Connor. What? You feel. <clears throat> what have you done to him? Look, I wanted him back. Back the way he was. No. I don't. But he might be. Thank up Connor and th come on. Perhaps using Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Nah, it was the best idea. Let us be mindful in the future, at least. Oh, the few oh stop. Third That's all. That was fun. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. The Zen hideout? Really, Colorine? I've never done it from the Zen hideout. Okay, I think we're good to go into Act 2. Uh, we need a thousand more experience. I don't think those skeletons in, in the Mountain Pass are going to give me that experience, right? So we just go... Right into Act 2, I think. Is there any reason to do that? <laughs> I've, Underdark Entrance, I think, is my go-to, personally. I, it's, I think it's got a pretty easy initial fight. The Drider is not a hard fight, so... Another loyal devotee. But this... Oop. Yeah, this this fight up here. Is there any reason to go do this for aside from experience, obviously, but I don't think there's anything else over here, right? On my way. I just don't like unnecessary fights in this mode. I don't even know what's over here. What is up, Jimmy Fingers? Forge? What's that? This calls for careful footwork. Move unseen. Ah, oh, shit, balls, fuck ass, fuck. Oh! God, dude. Oh, God. This is not a good idea at all. Keeping my head down. Let's see what you're hiding. You've made a grave mistake. Okay. 
has lied to me. Ready for anything. A steadfast supporter. Don't have, don't have one of our Sure do. Like nothing about this fight, bros. What's up, Lin uh, Nintendo? is happening. Her weapon go. I didn't throw it. it it's maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run her away and go back to camp. And I just got to now got to go back to the fucking anti-ethyl crap. It, I assume it's down there, but. Happy place. I've got it. It only it, that usually happens on like pretty rare situations. Uh, time to push my luck again. I, it wouldn't be a scary fight if I fucking, if I was, like, I could probably one-shot a lot of it, but then I'd be, they, of course, have Undead Ward and everything, right? On the move. Shit, dude. We got the hag hair. Hey, if your main character dies, what happens? Let's have some courage. Can you feel death's cold groove? Yeah. 
Must be on my way. That was annoying, man. I just hope my fucking pike is still there. Uh, one sec, guys. Um, I would have been fine with the Death Shepherds if I could throw. If I was throwing there, it wouldn't have scared me as much. But I was like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. This is not good. I'm, now I'm just a little worried that that pike is not there. In which case, we'll have to use some fucking bullshit throwing weapon until. A stack fast eight, support. Which is not going to be good. Uh. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, just use Eldritch Knight Bond Weapon. It doesn't matter if it doesn't have the throne characteristic. If it doesn't have the throne characteristic, what it will do is it will use the weapon's weight for its damage. It has to have throne to actually use the weapon's damage. It better be there, Brian! Uh, we didn't long rest, so we just teleported out. The great pike of our era. Oh, just come here. Uh, you can also get into the Underdark through here. This this door. It's top of the Underdark. Don't set that fucking trap off. Although I don't think the traps really work, work, work anymore. Oh. No reason to act a fool now. No, you just walk through the door, Donnie. Okay. Um, am I just jumping into Act 2 or am I going to go do that fight? It doesn't matter, you can just throw it from the inventory. Alright. What now? 
These boots have seen everything. Where is the... There it is. Nope, oh, just went up the wrong fucking way again. So, Death Shepherd's fight, or just Act 2? No, new, leave no experience on the table. Am I my Bardic Inspirations? We just did a, a short rest. Are you a long rest? That would, wouldn't matter. Much weird. So, just say in chat, guys. Death Shepherd or Death or uh, Act 2, which one you guys want? Don't take it right now. What are you talking about? Why, L. Rustin? I've never done it, but if you can tell me why, I'll do it. And if it's a good reason why. <laughs> oh, we're not taking it now. We're not. You guys want me to go kill the Death Shepherds, huh? Elminster will be here once we go up in Act 2, regardless. It doesn't matter. You are right, Visual. All right. I can summon the ogres for this fight anyway. Maybe I do that. I'm, I'm not going to use it past this stage. Hey, he lost his, his hit points. It's cool. Don't suck. I sure was. What was the question, Len? so I can actually do the damage. Ah, uh, nothing. Screw it. I just don't want to play like that. I'd love to, thanks. I leave House of Hope and go... Can I leave House of Hope and go back for Hope after stealing the gloves and stuff? In the Ranger Rogue build you're using, which my best cross will be in my main hand or offhand? Main hand. And uh, I don't think you can leave and come back. I think you leave and you leave. Death Shep's revived the Fallen Minions. Oh, we have to kill them first. And we're not going to attack from from stealth because we'll lose the pike if we do. We have to go pick it up then. Okay, so we will then we will now do this this time. I know that mitigates the amount of damage we can do, but I'd rather have that CC down to stop a lot of good movement there. We might as well use this. We're not gonna be able to use it after this after this fight. This is the last time we can use it. Oh fuck you! I thought we could use it one more time. Damn it. I thought this was the last. I thought we could do it here in the mountain pass. I am fury. I am death. Oh, 
Oh, tricky bitch. What is the path interrupted by? A bramble? Go on. Got him. So one of them's out. That's good. Cool. That knocks him down. Okay, so he's out, out. Okay, cool. Whatever. Yeah, I know the other guy will get him back up, but still. Spike growth doing some work here. It's fine. They can get each other up? Now that I didn't know. That's not cool. That actually fucks my day up. Yeah, seriously, dude, do not do this fight in level two. I don't have agonizing blast. You know, I know this is an AOE spell, but I'm gonna cast it onto this guy. Didn't do the amount of damage I really wanted it to do. Yeah, agreed. I don't. Returning Pike. You know.
my fury. That gambit was not worth it. I am now finding out in this exact moment. Fuck. I just gotta kill him because this guy's toppled, so. Death Shepherds are out, so we're good. We're 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 gonna be all right. We have arrow to cure paralysis. That's an arrow. Oh, solving arrow. I don't think I do. Ring of solving. Oh, you both don't have it. Cool, you're both dead. Cool, 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 great, 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 great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. It's wild, man. I can't reach that. Oh, that'll hit him. for a lovely four damage. Oh God, oh God, <laughs> he's coming. Okay, we will throw upon ye.
What the fuck, man? Oh, there. Like, Jesus Christ, I can see this shit. First step is the Max heal. This is gonna be a. Well, it's too dark over there? That's interesting. Now there's some creatures around it. Why? Can I even throw them into that? Oh. I could go over there and topple, but this is just the safest route, I think. A steadfast support. You should, Remortis. The fuck, man? Guys, everybody go check out Remortis' sick YouTube channel. There's 250 of you. Remortis needs more subs. He's at 7,500. So if you like any of my videos, it's because of Remortis' tutelage on D&D stuff. So go and watch Remortis' video right now. Never a dull moment. The audio is muted? Yeah, it's not muted. It just happens when I uh, look off the screen. Yeah, the ogres did not show up for the fight. I think we're supposed to be in Act 2 by now. He does. He's the man. He's got what it takes. Go check out Remortis. Huge dick. Those who fail, so they're going to go to the drop. Okay, gotcha. The Absolute forces have taken Duke Ravengard to the Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. You can kill a squirrel, man. I mean, is there any reason to go kill those ogres? I don't really want to do the fight. There's no I don't even need that. I don't need that. The diadem. Yeah, uh Remortis is the friend that's going into porn. Eh, I don't need 17 in for anything really. There's no one I would really want to take the crown off of like where the where in, Oh where in lube anything else. It's down here. Is anything down here worth going for? Oh, is this what the fuck is this? Oh, it's just a mountain pass. Okay, uh are we doing mountain pass via Underdark or Walk in the or the mountain pass. Dawn, for Underdark or mountain pass. Where the light doth not reach. Yeah, we you know, we did all the gifty gifts. Gifts are done. Underdark is, la is the easy way to lot. I think so too, Princess Salami, right? Princess Salami is a fucking great name. Do I want to use a spider slayer? Dendai, 20 GPP uh, donation. Thank you very much. You're just taking a minute to express gratitude to to the for all or to you, I think, to to the whatever for all the Baldur's Gate content you've put out. It's been so helpful. Thank you for the hard work. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for the donation, Jendai. That's super super kind of you, bro. Very generous, my man. It was cool to see it from the side. Uh, yeah, I, I've never done this side. So maybe I just do it. Mountain Pass is faster than Underdark, but both have tough fights. Yep. Done a noble background salami club wielder build yet. Oh, she's gonna say that's your fucking problem right there. Always room for more? We all need a fucking devious uh, salami. By the way, guys. As an Italian, I don't even caught off in salami talk. Make sure you join the Discord, my dudes. That way you can get up to date on all the stuff that's going on. You can chat with everyone. It's a fun little Discord. Trying to get it bustling and pop. Ooh. Who there, wanderer? Is it? Stay thy core. It is. It's 171 of you guys on YouTube and uh, 90 some of you on Twitch. If you are watching on YouTube, please do make the switch to Twitch. Come watch on Twitch. If you have a Prime sub you've not yet used, use it on me because it's my full fucking time job. Gale. 
Sure is. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage? Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature you can use of your drop on or huh. that you desire to drag from the dark? Another Dude, world. thanks for following. I'd be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster, Elminster Omar. Right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning, for tuning in here. An earnest you. disciple. Let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but set course for your camp forthwith. And I would confirm it to be so. Oh, I gotta go camp now too. My thanks for thank your you excellent for guidance. Someone donated. Ah, and yonder I spy the. The very same Gale, and a fair bit miffed he is too. Uh, miffed is one of my favorite terms. Forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Remortis, I did that, uh... I did that, uh, uh, subclass tier video, and people are hot disagreeing with me on Eldritch Knight being D tier. Uh, it is... And a cup of wine would appear S tier now, apparently. Feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and so I just want to ditch work and keep playing my honor mode. I can't Isabel protect the, the president. Fight made me stop yesterday too much. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Uh, Average, well, thank you for really subbing with Prime, my dude. Uh, none of them started with well, actually. I mean, they all they all came from pretty from pretty good stances. They were saying, like, you can use your spell slots in the same way as a paladin uses their spell slots. Only rather than using for smite, use them for shield. I'm like, that's pretty fucking cool. I never thought of it that way. But I think the stance on using the Eldritch Knight for throwing is a little is a little misguided because that is not how throwing works. I've, I've, now I've said three times in this stream, throwing is based off of the weight of the weapon if it is not a thrown weapon. So you need to use thrown weapons. Um... <laughs> yeah, Colorine. If you have Prime, go ahead and press subscribe. Then at the very bottom, you'll see a small little checkbox. If you're on mobile, you'll see a little slider. Yes, Princess Salami, they are. <laughs> but you can throw, like, light hammers. You can throw daggers, stuff like that. Yeah, that was my stance, was, like, using a character in a very specific uh, way doesn't Praise necessarily necessitate it being the best. It just means it's kind of got a, cer a certain broken niche. And I'm not a huge fan of that. New Level up Larian. Thank you very much for subbing up with Prime. And Screw Dizzle. Thank you for subbing up with Prime. Is Level up Larian like an official Larian account? Because that'd be fucking cool. I have made it if another company reaches out to me officially. EK is not S tier. It's solid. Maybe better than D, but not S. Yeah, I, I kind of think it's A or B after their stances. Making like a tanky Eldritch Knight, I think is definitely... <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely a, a, a really good way to, to approach it. I think had I approached it with that, I definitely think it's like a like a like an A or B. Using like the flail of defense and stacking your armor class. Maybe even going with a really heavy dex build and just getting as much AC as you can. And cool. But I think kind of, the, uh, what I probably should have said was, uh, everything in S tier is kind of like damage oriented, more or less. I See, I agree with you, Remortis. That's why I think it's A or B at best. A steadfast supporter. A lot of people were saying that Sword Bard should be at or above Lore Bard, but I don't agree with that. They're saying that the Sword Bard does more damage, but I think that the Sword Bard only does damage if it's got its, its songy songs up. The other bar just does damage as long as it's got spell slots, which are, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? Where is your decorum? Oh, for the 
This is a cool chat when we kind of go through this. On behalf of Mistra, the message. Agreed. I, I think Lore's the best I bring bard. You are hers. See, I can't decide for my Bardadin, my, my best starter build uh, video, if I go 10 Sword Bard, 2 Paladin, or 6 Lore Bard, 6 Paladin. Just split down the middle. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, Mr. She, Mr. is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your I did. I made it yesterday. I didn't want to bother you yesterday. I was like, man, I asked him so many questions about videos. I, I don't want to just say, hey, here's this. Uh, here's my tier list. What do you think? But here, I'll just send. Here, you can have the thing. Lord Bart says, fuck you. What do you mean? You get both extra attacks at level 5. For, no, no, you only get an extra attack from one source of extra attack. There. No, wrong one. Well, that's that's Turin. Whoopsies. Uh, here, bro. Dude, I want Popeyes right fucking now. Alas. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail. The oppressed I am the absolute destroyer. The to stop the clock, as it were, on the orbs rush to overpower. You must find the heart of the absolute. No. It is done to you. I commit into care Gail himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. On my honor, I'm not like an Eve. Farewell, Elman. Always at your side. An audience with Elminster is never less than. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. Great. Jeez, Harley the Great Wizard of Le Legend. A wizard? For Miss Time seems so infinite when you're young. Popeye's is so fucking good. A month is an age. A year. Of course. We offer the clear. And, the and I, along with it. If there was, that remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute. Mu <laughs> I don't know why you think Lore Bard is equal or better than Sword Bard. That's false news. Why do you think it's not, LJ? This is probably a better question. Defend your your coveted Sword Bard over the Lore Bard. Oh, the blue jay. Or just a blue jay. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Counterspell is a. That's a bard thing. It'll be on uh, Sword Bard. I mean, yeah, definitely true. Art, that's a great point. Sword Bard does damage numbers that rival a Paladin. The range slashing flourish can be used twice per level with a self-applied haste. Can you not do it with the, the melee range? The, the, the melee slashing flourish? Alright, we're, we're going to Act 2. Is there any reason I should not do this? Finally going to act two, two hours into the fucking stream, bros. Hmm. We were forced a uh, long rest, so let's go here. So, my, my big thing with the lore bard over the sword bard. Yes. Your flourishes are sick. You can get AC, you can get damage, you can do more multiple targets. All those are great. Um, 
I love those a lot. But I think as far as overall utility that the lore bard delivers to the campaign, it beats out the sword bard. Sword bard's great in combat. And you get all the, the abilities that the lore bard gets for the most part. The lore bard can just double, triple down on skills to the point that I can make most of my ability checks in the conversations, which are really kind of the meat and potatoes of the whole entire game, negligible. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Yeah, and I can heal, I can get access to two sets of magical secrets, which is huge. Um, expertise, which is huge. Um, cutting words, which is massive. Having the ability to make it so my opponent can't actually get some of their things off is really big to me. For, yeah, a sword bard's ability to we'll not have those things go off by just straight up killing things is great, but it's one character that can do it only in its turn. Um, cutting words works outside of my turn. I don't know, bros. Do you think I do? I get a little gamey here and go try to get some more uh, elixirs. Yeah, and I, that's another thing too. I can push something over the edge. I cast a spell and I needed it to go off. I want to push a little bit more here now and do it again. For the two of us. Elmins, that duck near why else does she not demand? Are you sure that's the best course of action? Confirm <laughs> Where's Willy? An we have a transportation cycle. wizard, yeah, that's all set up. I just I'm gonna bring another character into the game. What's up, Fate, hello? Dost thou require a new ally? Very well. This is cheesy, but it works. Battle step, bro. That guy's cool. Man. Everything next? Someone there. I'm gonna do this. And just anyone. talk back and forth. At least things have stayed interesting. <sighs> I just wasted a whole level. We'll be clear. No point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Damn it. I don't even really think I want that. Single fucking finger, huh? I don't want it, dude. Don't give it to me. Ah, don't give it to me, because it's already up. The video's already done and made. Sight. You can give me your t your your feedback on on um the the subclass one I'm gonna do, or the multi-class one. Because those I did the video with the pretext of this is a pure twelve level um Never of this character, that. no subclasses. I'm sorry, no multi-classing and no gear taken into consideration. That's kind of how I approach that video. Let's move. We'll be clear. No point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Dude. Oh 
potions here. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Yep. Because a lot of people have requested. Ooh, a lot of people have requested it, so I'll go ahead and do that. I will team up with the the deadly might of. Uh, 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 Remortis to do it. Okay. That's okay. We don't need to really do that. I mean, we're already we're already cheesing it this hard, you know. You go. We'll be clearing out. No point in lingering now. I have 21 potions of speed. I ain't worried about them too much. You no, know, I haven't even been looking for the actual raw potions though. Oh. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Oh, baby. I need one more. His name is Damon. Danton. Danton the ice cream. Have wished to live in more interesting times. We'll be clear. No point in lingering. Imagine now. sucking one of those things, dude. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yep. We definitely gamed the shit out of it, Sar uh, Sergeant Shally Prime. Guys, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, switch, make the switch to Twitch. If you have a what they called you have not yet used. Use it on me, the prime sub. It's my full time job. This is what I do for a fucking living. Yeah, I'll buy that. You guys want it. Well, I'll show you how you can be crazy with uh, with uh, with with alchemy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. One is all I need. Me, huh? Last one, last chance, last chance. Let's get it. Can't give up now. We'll be clear. No point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Damn, dude, we didn't get any on her. I think the giant ones are, are more are better are more better said are better uh Princess Salami. Welcome back. Have you made any new I discoveries? Yes! We did it. Okay. So we go to camp. Our whole party, please. And we go ahead and we're gonna kick out a Starion real quick. No, there's some things I kind of like loosely skipped over. It's and waste of a perfectly good gale, I suppose. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. It sounds. <laughs> Please just just stay here. I love that. This vessel is at thine disposal. Wait for me in my camp. Rena. This vessel is at this so. Me. 
Yeah, we skipped a couple, but not really a lot. But just enough, I think. I mean, we're not far off, right? We're set. We're 562 experience away. We're probably going to get it right as we jump into Act 2. Um, where are you? Shadow Heezy. Oh, Shadow Heezy's over here. First Let me go pee real heart. quick, guys. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Scale to just fall right. Be right back. I'll go pee real fast. Oh, it is. Yes, ma'am. Vile intent. Thank you very much for stepping up with Prime, my dude. Um, where's the owl? There it is. What to do? So we have. So what we did was, we are a using a halfling because halflings have luck. Roll one on an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. You can reroll the die and must use the new roll. That's just a passive feature. Um, no, her fourth. Uh, I don't remember what her fourth feature was. That's a good call. We should have gone with. We should have gone with that if we didn't. I don't know what I chose. Oh, I think I did. Uh, wisdom proficiency. We did resilient uh, wisdom. It doesn't show it. Um, so we've got that. We have her as a level 4 wizard, which gives us experimental alchemy. Um, you can brew alchemical solutions instead of one. When combining extracts, if you succeed, DC 15 medicine check. We have uh, we make another one. So we have specialized in medicine. That's about a plus 10. And we did upper wisdom here to, to 18. What we're going to do then is also, when she gets higher up as a rogue and she gets expertise, we're going to put the expertise into uh, medicine so that we can get more check on the medicine. Thank you very much, Violent Tent, and thank you for the again for the uh, Prime Subdube and the great pit boy you've got there. Thank you, brother. So then we go over here. So go ahead and we'll, we'll have our inventory up on the other screen. 
Can we not do that? No, we can't. Fuck my... Oh, that's right. It's, well, it's part of the same fucking screen. So we go to Elixir. Go to uh, Cloud Giant. Can only craft one, unfortunately. Ah, we succeeded! So, we come back to our inventory. We've made two rather than one. For just the price of one. Hill Giant. We succeeded, so we made two rather than one. Uh, the universal resistance is kind of nice here. We can actually probably make some of these. We need more stuff. So, we can make these, which are okay. I've got tons of healing potions we can make. So let's, here, let's do one of these. We succeeded, so we just made two. Three of these. So, so, so let's see if we can make six. We just made six. So you can see, yeah, Guidance is helping in this case because it's adding to the roll and uh, Owl's Wisdom is making, giving us an advantage on the roll. And if we roll a one, we auto roll again. You, so the way you find these recipes is just bring up, press H and just press extract all ingredients. And you'll find all the recipes as long as you have the base equipment to do so so the reason i don't i'm not making any potions of speed is because we have like 20 of them right we have like a, a million there's not really much use to use them uh, might as well try that succeeded made two um coatings i don't know if there's any of these that are worth making maybe accuracy so this is the next video that i'll probably make on the channel tomorrow if you guys want this combustion i don't know what does combustion do See, the problem is you can't fucking read what it does and Dance with me around the fuck off. I know I've got these on a character. Your archer boy has the fire sto stroker bow. It lights up on fire, then that seems kind of easy. Well, let's make four. Am I an unwanted presence? You're never an unwanted presence, Yogi. Why would you make why would you say that, dude? I could, princess. I haven't thought about it. <laughs> Are you doing? Are you just, you're just kind of like a little. It's a little tedious, right? Because you're like, oh, okay, do I have the stuff to do this? Like, okay, I make these. You make. Three of them. Success! We made six of them. Which has an explosive effect around victims after applied to them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, take that and just put it on our character. Oh, we can end turn. Oh, shit. Let's over here. Never my Mr. Wound. Oh, yeah, I've read your message. I've read your messages, dude. I've said a couple of them out loud. Yogi, how dare you, bro? You are definitely wanted here, my brother. To be fair, though, it's been kind of a spicy day when it comes to some of the stuff we've been dealing with. Yeah, by all means, man. Doesn't bother me at all. Ask away, my dude. Okay, so we just do this now. Talk to her. This vessel Remember, we have to say, wait for me in the camp. Thou Otherwise, you dismiss the character and you have to rebuild it from scratch. Which isn't terrible, but... Shah's blessings upon you. If you're sure. So eventually, too, Karlak will be subbed out for this character right here. Because it's a dwarf. And we're going to take a dwarf into the party. Need something? Uh, for the dwarf and thrower, which is the best throwing weapon in the game. Maybe it'll bring us closer. 
We must press I just don't know what to name this video. Like, it's got to be a com it's got to be a, 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 a video name that like people want to click on. And if I say how to do how to set up your camp followers, no one really knows what that means. Yeah, dwarven Thor is better than I live in them. because in the hands of a dwarf, it does more damage, and if you hit a large target, it does even more damage. Best camp chef and vamp food in BG3. <laughs> I mean... Breaking the game with camp followers? That's not a bad idea. Path lies before me. That's a pretty good title, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down. Wouldn't Karlak be great Please. paladin? She gets smited by default. Yeah, the, my problem though with Zariel tieflings in general though, Yogi, is that by the fact that the nature of their cantrips, they already get some of the spells that paladins get, which to me kind of just sucks. Um, Chachi's BT is kind of shitty, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but the shape changing stuff has been patched in patch five. Yeah, he's biting a hireling. And that's the big thing is like I can't I don't really use those smites even as a barbarian yog. So it's like fuck. I, I I honestly don't like those smites. Because of that stuff. Boom, and act two we go. We should probably consume one of those uh cloud giant potions. Exactly. Like the smites, they require an action and a bonus action and concentration. That's just too much economy. Oh, well, hello to you, Luna. Hey, off Breaking Bad, brewing 99% purity. You should just go in full spore jewelry, six spore jewelry, six necro wizards, so that book's build. Uh, nine spore druid, three, something else. I have a spore druid build up. <sighs> this place is dark beyond dark. You feel it too, right? I'm sticking to light wherever I can find it. <sighs> uh, are you Nintendo, I've never done that fight. The true soul. We are having fun here today, Luna. We are having fun. Uh, no. I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. I was how was uh to True Blood Tuesday. Move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. I'm not going to that fucking cave. Uh, but I am switching on over to the Blood of Lathander because we have used our Oh, we have not used the bless for this. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. Because <clears throat> this is just going to give us light, which is going to really help us out. Um, so, again, though, do I switch Lizelle off of Hill Giant Strength onto Cloud Giant? We have three of them. So that's, I think that's fine, right? That's basically three long rests worth of Hill Giants, uh, of Cloud Giant Strength. And we've got... Two rests and a song of rest. So we have plenty of resting. I just... I don't remember if there's anything coming up that's going to force me to do a rest. No, they last until long rest, Bushido. There's no reason to wait. I don't know how many we can make in Act 2. I don't. Oh, no worries. You're good, dude. I don't really know the answer to that question, unfortunately.
Well, we should be all right. I'd rather be able to punch shit apart very quickly. I'm actually going to give her this ring. What did I do? Oh, shit. I cast it on that fucking stupid thing. God damn it. Oh, it must be an item. Oh, I thought it would still work on our back. Fuck my dick. Peace. You tricky fuck, it didn't work. Now we just have light on two separate items here. No, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's a wall in the game. Look at it. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Oh, she, she asked for it. She was like, oh. I'm Sandra Bullock. I'm hurting for squirting. I'm ready. Yeah, she can't. She she walked around dressed like that. She was asking for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> um. Do I use the spider's liar here? When do I use that? This is an inclusive channel. This is the most inclusive channel you'll find. The, the baby's got pink eye. <laughs> He's down behind me, just crazy. He's on a let again. Yeah, sleeping. Oh. Yeah, the Catwoman, it's like the same thing. Do the half work with the goblin. So I go down here. I'm gonna, never gonna stop. You can't stop me. Anything of use? Oh, do I want to go to Moonlight Inn first? What's the route here, bros? I, I've, I've never gone through that way. I forgot what the fight at last light in. The school of sanctuary. I'm gonna need a school of sanctuary from someone or somehow. Because the only way to really do that fight is casting sanctuary. I don't think I ever get it as a bard either. Ahoy, boys! And boy. I probably can, but I wouldn't want to waste it. <laughs> you see that blight echo? Swallowed the whole by the shadow curse. Bet he was pure tasty. Jesus Christ. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. In the shallows, but a curse don't care about some itty bitty light once you get deeper. But don't worry, boss. But if you call the drider We've and follow him, the, the Harper ambush is gonna Talk happen, and you can side with either party at that point. Okay, cool. So, 
Uh, this isn't like assuming me to side with them. Oh, can I tell him to go get that fucking bone? I can just I can go get the bone. <laughs> Wait, you, but we're ready to go. You just need to tell Kansip inside. No, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. You can only do it every long rest, but that'd be... Yeah. Go. Ha! Now, uh... Common sense Hi, Daddy. Up. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? Forgive me, true soul. But what we want is to get to Moonrise as quickly as we... We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her lyre to summon a guide through the darkness. If the Night Warden did not send you, who did? What are you doing here? He's dripping, he's dripping. Ah, then pluck a tube, and our guide will come scuttling. Oh, oh yeah, fucking, fucking make that fucking shit, son of a bitch! Ah, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I gotta dye my my petticoat here, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very bard like with this tabby green on. Tacky green. Mm, purple. Purple will make me sparkle. Black and red ferns is always a really good one. Ah, yes. I Look hear at this guy. Only fans. Their god and their guide together. One of Lolth's abominations. Greetings, and the Absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. What's up, Rob? You flesh me, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to her true soul. I know, Art. That's why it's funny. Different Rob. Rob sometimes watches. And you. What are you? Fuck a drow, you drider piece of shit. Absolute. They need a guide to the tower. Same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice. The absolute. Or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> True soul. This guy is so cool looking, dude. This every day, Majesty. <laughs> yes. Yes. They'll do it nicely. <laughs> uh, Why would you give me that lantern? Graces us with her blessing. And her magic lamp. Oh, and they are jealous of your gift, Majesty. And you gave it to us. And we always keep it close. Always keeps it close. No! Our queen gives it to us! They wish to walk through the darkness alone. They are welcome to. Gets pissed. Oh, that's so. Maybe this will. No more demonstrations. Yes, yes. We shall go. Your light leads the way, my queen. Your light leads us the way. It keeps it. There's a guy. 
just around the corner. Things best avoided. Shadows looking in shadows. Now, will they follow or stay? <laughs> will they follow or stay? Uh, yeah, let's go. Bless us again. Follow and stay close. Do not leave Root. the light. Rush your shadows. You heard him. Move out. No, no, because he was set down into a drow little cave, and a ritual was failed, and he was then made into a drider. I, I can't remember how it works. Trying to, you son of a bitch. Wants to become shadows. Quick, swift, like shadows we must be. Yeah, they get they they fail a ritual. It's a ritual they have to do, and if you fail, then you become a drider or something. The shadows are hungry. Yeah, you do apparently, Zolo. I'm stoked. So, Majesty, bless us with patience. Can I break people apart at this point? They leave us again. Very well, my queen. Wait. Something is wrong, Majesty. Who's there? Show yourself. Harper's attack! Kill the cultists and get that lantern! Halatax! Villains in the dark! These Harpers are clearly enemies of the Absolute. They could be worthwhile allies. Defend the guide and you may preserve your cover as a troop. What are they doing? We thought they were true souls! Traitors! Villains! <laughs> oh, good, I'm in the best place. Yeah, let's do that. Oh ho! <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, you son of a bitch, I forgot about that. Okay, let's just uh, gamper over here. In the eyes! Time to strike. Did you reach the destination? There we go. Critical mess, how fucking dare me. Oh, and a neck punch. Time for a cut. Finish him off with that. Yeah, I can't do anything here because we're that sanctuary. I live through that. Victory awaits. Um. Oops. Jesus Christ. Frighten them, bitch. Take that critical fucking hit. You won't be able to do damn fuck all. Love it. Oh. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen.
Really? Like a 90% disadvantage and still fucking miss? I thought it was fucking better not be a double miss. Build on item high. Uh, yeah, princess. I, I've kind of done that. I've done ice and stuff like that. Oh, taking a call for work now, huh? Oh. Oh. I love when you talk dirty. I've got a semi. Swift and lethal. There's blood in the air. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm. It actually kind of has a lot more health than I thought, so this is not the easiest fight in the world. He's already done his turn. I'm going to see if I can do a little uh, shebang. What are you doing with that? What is that, big boy? Crusty eye. Get your crusty eye away from me. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. It's looking like clear clear discharge. And not like a colored discharge anymore, huh? You so Uh, he got it from a fucking gnarly thing of runoff, I'm sure. Oh, damn, one fucking hit point. Probably do Sanctuary next turn. Shun of a bitch. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Happen. 
Which one are we talking about, Diversion? Into the family? <laughs> Damn, it did a lot of damage. Sorry, Bob. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. You don't move and talk. The pin the man wears is familiar to you. He belongs to the Harpers, a covert organization dedicated to freedom and balance. Follow me. I know a refuge from the darkness. You can let the land. No time to rest. <sighs> yeah, I fucking hate it. Oh god, it pisses me off so much. Well. Turns heat and eh, hmm. yeah, that's what I did in my in my playthrough too. I set the fight the the character free. We didn't get the lamp though, did we? They give you the lamp, but you go back there. I think. The way I've done it is I've gone with the Harpers to here, and then we trigger the fight. But now we get this! So, short rest. Okay, so, what do we go for a level 3 spell? Glyph of Warding is really good. Hypnotic Pattern is really cool. I didn't have a check.
Yeah, I, I love Glyph of Warding because it does afford me damage or like not necessarily CC. You know, I don't really ever, I don't think I've really ever used uh, plant growth. Do I want to replace anything? I kind of want to replace Cure Wounds because I'd rather use the primary action to do something else. Yeah, Glyph can do Radiant. Yeah, the sleep gift or the uh, a the pushing glyph, all are so good. Um, a new subscriber arrives. It fills have you not with determination. Lock. Hey, Fajud, thank you very much for uh, uh, subbing up, my man. Do we replace? Should I replace cure wounds here? Do you think? Uh, I don't know if fear is going to be really worth it here. Sleep I'm, I, is not useful anymore at this point in the game because you need it needs too many spell slots to be active. Um, kind of madness is kind of fun. My growth has been well. I, we do have a pretty ranged party too. The fearman, that's pretty good. Yeah, hundred percent. Fear is just not useful anymore. Hypnotic Pattern uh, is good, but I don't remember what the save is on it. Yeah, Fear I don't think is going to work with the Undead is what I'm, what I'm kind of worried about. Bane, uh, if the Concentration ability, I'd rather just cast Bless on myself. Do we go with Fear, Hypnotic Pattern, or Plant Growth? What do you guys think? Wisdom save, you believe? I mean, you guys have all made pretty valid points about everything, so. We already have Tasha's hideous laughter. That was not concentration, dude. That's so good. I have Fairy Fire as a drow. It's 25%. Creatures moving through the weeds have their movement speed quartered. Blind is also good, yes. Blind is also good. I, you know, let's try Plant Growth. I've never used it. See what it's like. Yeah, I think we'll do this. Oh god, that version. I forgot about that fucking ability. That part. Uh, so now we have stillness of mind, so I can't be charmed or frightened. Um, and we have evasion. So we're now going to take... Well, hopefully we'll take half damage. Otherwise, we'll either take no damage or half damage, which is really great for spells in general. And we got additional key points. Insect Plague is really good, yes. Really through plants. Nearest we oh, I should put those on what's your tits. Uh, now we can't be surprised, which is great, and plus we do our initiative roll. Uh, we are no longer a ranger anymore. We are now going back into rogue. So we're now going to put seven levels into rogue. That's going to give us. Um, assassin in one more level and we're going to get a feat in a little bit which we'll, we'll maybe do we might actually do alert to be honest oh I have 17 decks 15 con we might do resilient uh, decks or resilient con get those bonuses but we have lots of things we can do and we're also going to get every odd number of levels we will get an additional um, bonus to our sneak attack damage. Well, he doesn't have hag hair, that's for sure. But I don't know why he has 19. I didn't. 
That, that, that was, uh... That's uh, Gloomstalker. He has Gloomstalker. What's the story? Still breathing, despite everything. Oh, let's see on my way. Again, Sorry. well, no, my point is, well, why did I put it at 17? Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. I just got the hag hair. Bypass some of these fights. I don't remember how. No, I'm going uh, seven levels into Rogue. This is right up to left that in. It'd be okay just to kind of walk across this bramble bridge. There's this motherfucker up here, and I don't remember what triggers him. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Here. These people didn't want to go wherever they were taken. I don't know how you would have assumed that there was a struggle here. But it's too impossible. Uh, yes. As in, you get to use Dread Ambusher twice if you use Action Surge? Is that what you're, what you're questioning, Princess Salami? God, your fucking name is ridiculous. I love it. Uh, I, I don't think it does. But I'm also not a smart person. I just look kind of, like, stately, you know? The mustachio. A divorced firefighter. Or someone who's going to open up a barber shop. This place is protected. A little camp with torches you take out torches to kill enemies get or at least huh? supplies. What do you mean? Diversion? <sighs> oh, if you take the torches out. Okay, well, yeah, we'll go there in a sec. It's me. Step forward. Easy. Yep. Come. Jahira. The reveal, it's Jahira. This is why we're here. It is a... You should never have come here, true soul. Rage against the vine. Do you beseech my patron to help me? I, I assume all these kind of stop the situation. That mezcal. <laughs> <laughs> like you like the you like smoked tequila. 
kind of want to see what this does, though. This doesn't sort of fight. This, you can't fight her. Oh, really? Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't even comprehend standing. If you have Halston, did you just kind of push through this? Is he like, they're like, oh, Halston's here, never mind. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? What in the hell is that thing? Congratulations. Hear me, Harpers. Oh. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. Hey, can. But I'm old and wise enough. I can to go put him in my party right now. Sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. There's food in the inn over why not? there. Beds too. Is Halston? rest. Elo oil in the cupboard in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Halston won't join party join till after drink. stop curse, and you gotta you send him here after finding You may just be the godsend we've been memory. praying for. So if I... Oh my god, soldier. That's Jim. I can't believe she... Be in your camp for chatting, but he won't leave a party where I'm totally free. Oh. That's crazy. I didn't know that. The fight here doesn't start until I go upstairs, up right? I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Cheeky foot. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Oh. So. I don't, I mean, I want it, but I don't think it's really going to be useful. I feel like there's no reason I'm going to not use that. Not use this. I, I'm not going to. I'm definitely not going to. We're going to, that's next stream. Yeah, we're getting the cloak. You know what? I'm actually not going to do this here. We have, what's his name back? So we'll sell all our stuff to Damon. Steadfast sucks because I wanted to use that because you know, monk. Uh, we don't need this on any character, but yeah, cloak of protection is definitely happening. Don't need that on any character. This is one of my favorite amulets, but we're good on all of our other amulets. The mighty cloth armor is good, but it's not worth replacing this. I don't think. I don't know. What do you guys think? This will set her strength to 20. <laughs> so her she would get maybe one more she get one more ace she gets pretty less AC her unarmored defense is this dude look at those spots fuck I love it I'd probably give her cloak of protection yeah She no, I can't use bracelet of defense because she's a thrower. Bracelet of defense are back in the bank, baby. They ain't even know this character. Any of these characters. I gotta pee. Be right back.
we put it over the thing to do is mighty claw have a bone. Also has good thing. Um Yeah, I could put Mighty Cloth on her now. We're not really using this well no Mighty Cloth doesn't work on her. Because she already is using potions of hill giant strength, so it's not gonna give her a bonus for to her strength. In fact, this isn't even worth it anymore. You get a bonus to spell save DC, which is nice, but the wearer has plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws. We were using it because we were using more um, Another loyal devil. spark generating stuff, uh, lightning charge stuff. So now we're not. You do get a, yeah, it's, that's okay. Not a bad idea. I mean, this would actually probably be more worthwhile on her in the, for right now because it gives her resistance to fire damage. And it causes a reactive 4 to 7 fire damage that I never have to do anything about. Portacali, how you doing, brother? No hangover for me, my dude. Uh, I'd be a full dex modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not impose fits. Finish. I, I have the Kushiro armor. In fact, yeah, I could actually put the Kushiro armor, Kushigo armor on now. Good, good call, good call, good call. I'm not since I'm not using any more of the other lightning charge stuff. Again, I just want I want to use this. But it doesn't. It'll be better on my other character that uh, you messed with. Don't touch me. No reason to use this. I don't. The only thing I'm debating is Mighty Cloth. Yeah, and it just kind of fits, you know, thematically. Oh, my balls. I'm going to do a nice testicle shaving stream. And, but she's using a potion of hill giant strength too, so it's not going to really benefit her. What a day. <laughs> I think we need really is. How dare you? How dare you? And I know I can barter that, but it's not worth it, and I'll show you why. Take care now. Yeah, I'm going to use Damien to sell. Nah, man. Let's say hi. Oh, there he is. That ox made it through the shadows. Carlac, I thought you'd be in the city by now. Yeah. Off the anvil into before you. Lies. Well, two things. Good news and oh, exact. Hang on. Yeah, sure. But first, only one way to find out. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dallon. Well, unfortunately, I can't because I'm doing honor so mode. So fucking it's uh, the least expensive. I could do. Uh, there's go, no benefits of doing one of the, over the other proper vibes. You. It's just a matter of like that bartering for the gear that you would sell. That washes up the, the cost. I know you know that. One just feels better, I guess you I could say. I wasn't making any. You. I get. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point. I think we all have to face the inevitable. Right? Thanks, Damon. Really. It's been my pl- what the fuck was that slam? It's you. I make shift and if you find any interesting materials, I when I can if you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Absolutely. Rip. Need anything? It's perfect. Need anything? Perhaps even. All right. 
So now we have the flawed Helldusk armor. Which is not the Helldusk armor, but still it's quite good. This helmet is really good, though. Where's the gloves? I thought I just did three. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have another infernal iron. You get another infernal iron here. Yeah. I think I do. Let me double check. So I shake a hand, but she can still snap me in two. So. Uh... What a fucking funny character. Need anything? Perhaps you've. Oh. Need anything? Well, well, well. I knew. Apparently I did. Uh, the gloves are nice because they are armor agnostic. You're funny. You're crazy, Romortus. When did you start lifting and when did you find out that you wanted to compete? I started lifting when I went to college. I just did like men's fitness bullshit um, workouts. And... They were okay, but it didn't really teach me much. And then I, st and I, I did track and field, shot put in discus for one year in college, and then I got Guillain-Barre syndrome and paralyzed my arms and legs. But I didn't stick with it, obviously, because I paralyzed my arms and legs. Um, but after that, I did these men's fitness stuff, like just generic stuff, like oh, biceps, triceps. Was, that kind of crap, like the generic splits. And I graduated and I was using my school's gym and my other friend was using it with me. He taught me how to clean and jerk uh, because I went paralyzed my arms and legs. Rachel, did you not pay attention to my fucking talk? Jesus fucking Christ, Rachel. Where the fuck, Rachel? Jesus Christ, Rachel. Um, but he taught me how to clean and jerk God damn it, Rachel. Uh, he taught me how to squat and how to deadlift properly. And he stopped, he graduated and stopped using this, the, the college gym and he went to a, a like a, a, a gym down the street from me actually, that I've been going to now since then. And he's like, hey, come on through. I'm doing Olympic weightlifting. You should do it with me. I'm going to start competing. And I said, okay, well, let me try it. And it was the hardest fucking thing I'd ever done so I just figured why not keep doing it and I've been competing since 2012 and I have I've stopped competing in the last year or so because it's I'm 36 it's not as fun I, I, when I was competing I was competing with like 15 people we all we're all competing as a team together, and there's that's not the case anymore. Olympic weightlifting is a really fun sport, and it's really hard, and it's it's a it's a game of inches. You learn a lot about what you can accomplish with yourself by putting yourself under grueling amounts of physical duress, obviously, but most importantly. That's why anyone who goes powerlifting should be a sport. I'm like, no, you knucklehead. It should not fucking be a sport. All you gotta do is stand up or, or sit down and stand back up. Like, it's just dumb. Um, powerlifting is not a game of inches. It is a game of bracing. It is a game of progressive overload. It's why strongman and uh, Olympic weightlifting are Olympic sports. But uh, Olympic weightlifting is you could be you could be the strongest person in the world, but if you can't get the proper technique down, you miss it by a centimeter on the on the ground, then you miss it by an inch on the top. And I have cried more times trying to get lifts doing Olympic weightlifting than I have done most other things. And I really liked doing it, and I loved doing it. 
but I don't do enough steroids to keep doing it. And anyone who tells you that people that don't that do Olympic weightlifting don't do steroids has never a competed in a professional sport or have never has never been around the strength sports in general. Um, the people that that if you go to a, a local gym, the people that do steroids at a local gym are an astounding amount. Steroids are fucking should be legalized and regulated. Uh, yeah, who hasn't tried Viagra? How dare you? Nope, not true at all, Diversion. Roids does not give you a tiny wiener. Martins and I have been friends for lots, lots of times. Uh, to anyone who's watching that is like, oh, you know what, I want to start doing steroids. A, you should be over the age of 26. Um, don't touch it before then because you have natural testosterone reserves that you should be tapping into on your own. B, if you do decide to go to use steroids, do your blood work and get a sense for where your health markers are at. And get that regulated before you even touch a cycle of steroids. And if you do steroids, you should only be doing base TRT or just test on its own. Don't touch D-Ball, Anivar, any of the concoctions because it's just not going to be what you need because you're not competing in uh, those sports. A lot of those concoctions are for, okay, you want to look particularly dry or particularly cut because you're competing in um, bodybuilding, which needs a very specific look. You could do, I think a doctor would give you something like 300 milligrams of test to do if you had low test. You could have that and thrive, if not excel, exceed where you're at right now without having to go crazy. Do not touch peptides. Peptides uh, there is, they have a different, they don't do trend unless you want to have a ridic ridiculous amount of pheromones on you at all times. Um, you, peptides do not have a huge background of, um, there you go, quack attack just nailed it. 300 milligrams of tests a week is way above required. That's colloquially known as sports TRT. A normal TRT is 100 to 200 milligrams. There you go. Like That's what a doctor would give you if you had low test. Um, peptides do not have any real, true, longevity research behind them. If you take peptides, you are a petri dish to figure out how their long-term effects are on the human body. There have been nearly now, nearly 100 years of Soviet and U.S. research on test it's naturally occurring in the body. It's why the fuck not? And peptides react differently to every single human, just like test does. But still, um, test should be regulated and taxed and all the fun things. Rather than athletes taking fucking bathtub testosterone from some fucking guy and then having a heart attack because it was dirty test. Like, test is the way of the future. But it is not if you do it the way that people do it like Rich Piana. The biggest problem with test, too, I'm sorry for the hard diatribe, but a lot of people ask about this stuff. Um, biggest problem with test is you need to cycle up and cycle off with a precursor and a post um, test cycle. Because if you don't do that, you will be in a world of shit. And you should, you cycle, your cycle is eight weeks. Orals, then pinning, then orals, and you do a uh, post cycle come down basically where you're taking, um, you're, you're, you're restoring the depleted nutrients that the test was giving you. And then after that, you should wait six weeks to eight weeks before another cycle, and you should be doing blood work to see where your health markers are because test will drop your health markers. You can eat a pizza for fucking sure you can. I, I, I don't agree with that, Quack Attack. I have lots of friends that blast and cruise, and they are not happy people, and a lot of it's catching up to them. They're in their 40s now, mid-40s, and they have tons of wild shit. Sixteen to twenty-four for oils? Oils will be way I don't know, man. I I go by a Russian master of sport who taught me all of his cycling stuff, and they're given tests at sixteen. 
Quack Attack has some good knowledge, but man, you, you got, you got that fucking like, yeah, I'm just ready to rip and grip knowledge, bro. Like, just fucking stick me and dick me. <laughs> I mean, I will probably get to a point in my life where I will more than likely do it. Small amounts. Just depends. I mean... I don't think I would do it. A week cycle, it would have been short. Testers for long as it lasted like test E, it would take four weeks before you even feeling it. Well, it your test rather than medical, not medical experience. Well, I mean... Anyone who's done large amounts of tests or like for long periods of time stuff like that learns a lot of this stuff this i've never done it day. but i've been around the best day i'm so happy for me too now i just i'm not withers was giving me the old eye the other night that under it i don't expect anyone to understand that but i've been dealt a hand most people don't have to con but and for the first time in a decade there are thank I see what's sauce from, yes. I'm a medical professional. <laughs> I love that. Like, I have a PhD, dude. I mean, yeah, my, my knowledge of it comes from, again, people that have been around it, that have been around it for so long, and seeing people take it, and the Russian master of sport friend who taught me lots about it. I was like, do I take it? He's like, no, you'll have more in tank. You will not take this. I love the camp music, by the way. Yeah, that, that's how, that, that's what uh, I was saying. Is that a lot of people do that? A lot of people just they're cool with it. That's what they want. They're good. They just. I have lots of friends that just never cycle down. Yeah, we're definitely going to kill the little guy. Is there anything in here I wanted to grab? I know I just grabbed what I thought I wanted. A lot of people have, a, uh, I think, a, a, a poor conceived notion of testosterone. They're always like, yeah, you take that, you small dick, you go bald. And it's like, it's not really how that works. It's not really it. You, there's probably a disgusting amount of people that you know personally that take tests and either never say anything about it or you just don't really understand those those uh, uh, what the effects are or whatnot. All right, Yogi, have a going, brother. <laughs> I'm on the gear, <laughs> dude. I wish that was why I was bald. I started losing my hair when I was in my twenties, early twenties. Guillain-Barré syndrome and losing a hundred pounds will do it to you. All right, we're doing. What we're doing. What, what kind of dye are we doing, this bad boy? White and scarlet. Because yeah, this, this, this. Well, here we'll do this. We'll do this. This one needs that. This one needs it. Eh, it's boring. Oh, that's kind of cool. Me too. You. I mean. So if I type in Blazer of Benevolence, Blazer of Benevolence BP3 die, I'll get an image that'll show all the different dies. There we go. 
Oh, that's a Drake General. Back. Type in laser. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's take a look. An earnest disciple. What looks cool? Black and Azure looks pretty good. Black and Furnace Red is okay. Bloody Plum looks actually sick. I like Bloody Plum. Royal Blue's not bad. Lavender's not bad. Gorgeous Marin. I know it's maroon. Sinful Red. I don't even ever seen Sinful Red and Bone White. Where's the Drake General one? Does anyone see that? Okay, wild and green. Custard and pink rose. Oh. It's a imager, uh, uh, or it's a tumbler thing that the guy's adding it all to. Black and red. I don't see general. I'll send you guys a link. I shall post it. Get that. Here you go. So if I type in like, let's say uh, blackguard, there you go. There's the blackguard plate. We can kind of look at all the different blackguard plate pit. Um, Orange, yellow, and pale orange. I want that bloody plume now. Pale orange. Ah, pale orange is pretty cool. Oh, oh. Maybe it's not that cool. <laughs> Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Thank you very much for re for subbing up here. Oh, Luna subbed up. You fucker. Ugh. We'll go with that until I go find another one. We're just about to end the stream here for the day, though. Did I post that link? More than one collector armor, I'm guessing not. No, you cannot, unfortunately. Need anything? Fashion Gate 3 is a, is a thing, brother. Okay. So... What we're going to do here, regardless of anything, is sell here.
Yes, I am Skywin. Yeah, by the way, we've been streaming now for about four hours. We're at four hours and four minutes. Um, I'll be streaming again... Friday? Saturday? Sunday? Any reason to keep these slates? This is good to have on her. It's so expensive though, man. Damn. Damn right, man. This is what this is one of the best bows for the haste alone. But resistance to fire and cold damage, it is amazing. This one. Oh, we can definitely afford the ball now. I didn't know how all this stuff was worth this much. Okay. Let's keep your distance, Doc. I'll be here yes. if you need anything else. Johnny Wal Malkov, good to see you, dude. When Ash, I'm glad you like them, man. I'm glad you are enjoying them. My dude. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Need anything? Here's the question, though, with the Drake Fire Bow. So this gives us advantage on all attacks. And this gives us advantage on all attacks against monstrosity type enemies. Do we think the resistance is just a better bet all the way around though? There's not many on Mac 2. There's like a couple. I think uh, fire is the most prevalent damage type, I think. Outside of just like generic uh, physical, of course. And haste, yeah. Haste is awesome to have. Is it worth spending a thousand gold on it, though? Thoughts, opinions... Correct. 
Uh, we're playing Honor Mode of Sirius. We can't afford to do that. Trust no one. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd do it. How much is away? I'll be here if you need anything else. I I'm really bad at stealing. Yeah, yeah, yes I did. Need anything? Indolence breeds madness. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Quiet. Yeah, but if you do that, then I have to quickly leave. I, I see. I'm really fucked up with that. I, I messed that, that part up. I'll be here if you need it. Need anything? Cal, funnily enough. Need anything? On the hunt. How can we rescue? Actually, kind of a lot. Yeah. Not worth it. And I have all those, all those bonuses on it. Yeah. Yes, file intent, correct. Action, not reaction. Come on, let's go. I'll be here if you need. Need anything? I just don't even know how to put this on, really. I'll be here if you need anything. Maybe just put on my main character. That way he's got the resistances. Do this fight too. Why?
The ox will give us a ring. Oh, really? Uh... Go into a fucking Minotaur. Dude, that's actually pretty cool. No, not for you to know. You're so very welcome. Now, you must have better things to do than hang around in a stable, surely. I can push this. And I can do a, uh, uh, get approval with Asterion. Uh, pushing it regards the results from threatening you. You can choose to either end it here or continue crushing him. Pushing him further will result in Ox turning hostile, deforming him. Uh, before going to, so, so he tells the player he was only looking for. Toodaloo. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that, that can, can jump in and help you in Act 3. That's so fucking... This game is so fucking cool, man. Ah, uh, People are like, I can't believe this game robs Starfield of Game of the Year. I'm like, you fucking have a smooth brain. How's the barricade coming along? Look at this treasure trove of money right here. It ain't pretty. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Starfield is actual animal poop. Oh, baby. Was it indigo we wanted? Oh, bloody plum. Take care now. Oh, baby, that's what I want. That's what daddy wanted. That's what daddy wanted. Can I even do a little bit of this? Sometimes the helmet doesn't work. No, he no work. Good. Fucking didn't deserve shit. Hey, guys, we're going to hype up a fucking game and not deliver. Okay, guys. Ooh, bros. So tomorrow I'm going to work on that camp follower video. Maybe even the moon dru druid build. Maybe the moon druid build tonight. See any movement out there? Maybe the camp follower build tonight. That's kind of... That's a really easy video. Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. But... Ad break in progress. Okay, ad break is in progress. We'll wait a little bit. Let's set up a raid in the meantime. Fucking Luna's not fucking streaming, so we can't raid her. A great wizard build video. So, I, I don't know. Is 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 our boy in the house? Is Remortis? Are you still here? I 
I have an idea for a build that is three warlock, eight sorcerer, one wizard. Hey, Osiris, thank you for subbing up with Prime, my dude. Let me see here. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. So we would do our first level into Warlock. Uh, our first level into Sorcerer for the uh, Constitution proficiency rolls. But... <laughs> no, people were right, man. They, they, they put me in my place, Riggity. I, I don't have any problem with anything anyone said. But I'd either go Pact of the Chain or Pact of the Tome. Because this gives us Guidance, Vicious Mockery, and Thorn Whip. They, now we just have them, which I really like just to kind of have online. A Thorn Whip, I don't give a shit, but Vicious Mockery and, gui and Guidance, that could be kind of cool. What is really nice, though, is if you go Pact of the Tome, what's the, what is our thing? Uh, Book of the Ancients is 7-Up. Those are actually really great spells. One eight Sork. And I would probably go uh, Draconic Ancestry here. Although I think maybe Storm Sorcery would probably be people's preferred option. But I think as far as, like, if I'm trying to make a spellcaster that's a come-all spellcaster that I can use across every facet of the game. Um, it definitely is Nutrient Enjoyer, but we're talking about, we're talking about a uh, Spellcaster. I like Draconic because I can choose an element outside of Thunder or Lightning, and I can just have fun with it. Um, I can go into Cold and get Armor of Agathos, which is really cool, and then I just get the passive bonus here, which is nice. But I mean, I fucking hate that you get fire sleep. Ooh, ooh. Burning hands is kind of booty too. Give me like fire ball, <laughs> ball or something. I don't know. Um, the sky self, like okay. Um, I think unfortunately it's like ray of sickness, Agathis, witch bolt. Those are the ones I'd actually want to use. The rest are kind of a little more situational for me. Tasha's is good. Tasha's is great. And you can have fun with... A, acid can really be amped up on a character. Uh, Melt Acid Arrow. There's a lot of fun acid spells in general. Storm Sorcerer, of course, gets all this. So if we're thinking, though, eight levels into Sorcerer, that puts us at this, which means that this only does four damage. A lot of people are like, oh, you, you think these, these are great. Storm Sorcerer is so much better. I'm like, that's six damage. I don't know. I, just for me, that didn't make a lot of sense to me. Versus I could get like four, five, or six damage. And that's only six damage at Sorcerer level 12. So, yeah, double if you get the target wet for sure. But I think too, saying, yeah, if you get something wet, fuck, that's a pain in the ass. Because you have to, there's layers to that. You're costing the actions of another character or your own character to make something wet. If you can't make them wet easily, relying on that as a damage source in lieu of li like lining up a really big hit can really bum, um, bum, bungle you up, maybe. Definitely would. Definitely would. Bum hold me up. Dude, I, my wife, my wife's pussy is never wet. <laughs> I'm, I'm not married. Those who knew the reference got the reference. <laughs> that I just like, man, that was that was so ridiculous when you said that, man. Like, dude, I don't care where you sit on the the political field. It was just really funny when he goes, "My, she's a gynecologist, and her pussy is never wet." I'm like, is that what she's telling you?
in the wide expanse of my very limited sexual experience, I can tell you I've never come across someone who goes, oh, just don't worry, it just doesn't get wet down there. I'll be like, Sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> um, Divergence, that's my pleasure, bro. My pleasure for you. But yeah, eight levels into here gives us two feats as well, so we can get like Warcaster and Spell Sniper if we so wish, or proficiency and perhaps like so the cool thing about being a um as resilient give us advantage or does it give it proficiency i can't remember now well that's kind of my point princess salami i'm costing is proficiency okay well then never mind we wouldn't want to do that so we get constitution Proficiency th saving throws, which is really nice. Um, but I, I wouldn't want to you go down the wet route. Because I know, yeah. You can alpha strike with it. But to cost the action and bonus action of that can really rough and be rough and tumble. And that's what I don't really like about it. Even though I've showed it off in, a, in, a, in gameplay videos. It's definitely awesome. It's definitely worth it. I really like it. I just... I, it's hard for me to go and say something like, Oh, dude, this is the best version of it. Because... In a vacuum, in a controlled space, it will always do the max damage, sure. But I'm talking about the wild ways that a fight can unravel and that you just don't end up being able to do those kind of things happening, though. You can plan for it, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Honor mode is the new mode that they added in with patch 5, which is basically an Iron Man mode. You cannot uh, save scum, and if you die, then, you, then the honor mode is over and it reverts to a custom save. So you can keep playing, you just, you can't um, get the benefits of beating it. Once you beat it, you get a gold d20 die. Yes, I don't recommend it for your first time through. But yeah, that, that's my character I'm kind of thinking of is three warlock, eight sorcerer, one wizard, or one wizard and, and 11 uh, levels into sorcerer. It, it, the game reverts to custom. It'll say, you fought honorably, now you're on a custom save. The whole party, the whole party, yeah. Whole party. Another loyal devotee. So a lot of people will, the, some ways they cheese it is they've got a warding bond character back in the camp, or they always keep one character back in camp, stuff like that. The game actually disses you when you want to go on, like, oh, bitch. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. 100% Osiris. So in a pinch, it's like, you could burst into shadows, get 80 feet away, and... Go to camp and res everyone. Whatever, you, as long as, as long as the whole party is not dead. All right, guys, let's get a raid going. Yum. Twitch.tv. We're gonna raid Megan. We're gonna raid Megan. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Slimy. That's fucked. You guys, thank you so much for watching here today. If you are watching on Twitch, make the switch. Making, if you're watching on YouTube, make the switch to Twitch. We'll do a little bit of a raid here. We're going to go raid Megan. She is a um, Just Dance streamer. She's a friend of mine. So thank you so much for watching, my bros. Uh, I might make that camp cycle. follower video tonight. I haven't decided. Not going to the uh, gym today because I had a rough sports massage yesterday. I'm beat up from it, man.
Also, too, if you uh, want to just kind of stay in touch in general with what's going on in the channel, do make sure you join the Discord. Uh, you can talk to me directly. You can talk to anyone in the Discord. It's the way to go. But guys, again, thank you so much for watching here today. Thank you so much for all the donations. All, we had like we had a donation on YouTube. We had 22 subs here today. We had 300 total bits. So thank you all very, very, very much. It's my full-time job. So you help make it easy on me. But this rate is going off here in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and those on YouTube, thanks for watching. Have a good one.